you can't talk, man. This dude dumb. Dumb. Yeah, before we go, before we go live. Nah, man, you y'all dudes really believe, <laughs> bro, man. We believe Shorty, that she's man, a liar? listen, man. yes, yes, we believe listen, she's listen. A liar. Well, listen, well, listen. It, why doesn't it go away then? Because I know one thing. Crazy. I'm just gonna say. That. I, hold, hold, no, no. Well, I'm gonna say this to you. If I'm a if I'm a hundred million dollar dude, uh-huh. right? That second a chick comes out and does that, the lawyers is on her helmet, and there's an instant gag order, and this is finished. The fact well, that this hasn't happened. Hold on. The fact that we have gone two months now. Where it's been rapid fire and repeated uh, 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 attacks against this man, lets you know that either two things: either he is his whole team is incompetent and need to be fired immediately, or he's guilty, and he can't he don't have a leg to stand on because he knows she got a smoking gun that we ain't seen. It's one or the other. Pick one because any, anybody else with common sense, like like if you look across the league, you don't see anybody else having these problems. Because guys understand, you know, you know, what I'm saying? they understand how to handle certain situations. So either you telling me Zion, because I, he, I don't even think he can spell cat, because I've seen him misspell all the time online when he's typing. And you went to Duke. That's a shame. I don't think he went to class at all. But a guy like that, bro, with all that money, like he said, you're supposed to have lawyers on retainer for stuff like this. So, you know, and I'm keeping it PG. If this is the, if this is the situation where she is constantly coming at you, bro, Bro, 99% of the league would have already nipped this in the bud with a lawyer. A lawyer would have nipped this stuff in the bud, and you wouldn't have heard anything about this stuff again. The fact that you keep hearing about it is two things. Either his team is completely incompetent, and they all need to be fired, which I think they do anyways. Because not only with her, I think they've mismanaged his entire career so far in the NBA. I think his entire career, I think his PR team, all this stuff needs to be fired. I think they've completely mismanaged him. They have allowed his image to be ruined. They've allowed him to go out here and say foolishness and do things that he should not have done as far as, you know, not playing, getting out of shape, not having a nutritionist, all of these things. When you're making that type of money, that's that's that that that's easy. That ain't even something we need to be telling him. But if you so but all take, of this if you stuff can we, acknowledge, but take if you just sat there and acknowledge that, and are we live yet or no? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but, but if you can sit there and acknowledge all the wrongdoings that his team did, if you can sit there and acknowledge all the things that have been wrong behind the scenes with Zion that comes from the people around him, then it's a good chance that you can say, yeah, Zion probably has a bad team around him. He 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 doesn't. Yeah, have no, 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 no. I'm she with you. Signed, no, I'm she legit signed. Uh, she claimed to have signed it. Uh, uh, NDA with the fake name. Like at that point, I'm, I'm gonna look at his. Yeah, yeah, his no, 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 no. Hold on. Everyone but, around I'm, him, I'm gonna be like, yeah, y'all are incompetent. That's where I'm leading. Right, but you believe? I'm, I'm saying, but you believe? Here. No, I'm saying, but you believe that, but you don't believe the other stuff that she's saying. All I'm saying is, either his whole team is incompetent, or he knows that she's telling the truth, and maybe she has messages or something like that that she has hidden to corroborate his story. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, corroborate her story, and she hasn't released it, and she's using that. Like, like to me. I get the sense that she's the type of chick that's going to use this against him and hold that always against him. That's why he's not saying nothing. That's why he's not doing nothing. Because if it was any other dude, man, they'd already laid the hammer on her. But you – listen, Ticket, it is – and I'm talking from a place of a person that has dealt with a crazy woman before. I, I've dealt with it. We are talking about a crazy woman on a massive scale with her own following, and now she's attaching her name to yours. It might not be as easy as just saying, oh, well, one, you would have to point out what she's actually done. That's illegal. If you want to say, and I'm, listen, I didn't pass the bar. I don't, I'm not a lawyer. So please don't fry me in the comments or in the chat saying, I don't know what I'm talking about because I don't, I'm not a lawyer. I didn't practice the, I didn't practice law, but at most I feel you can hit him with, you can try to hit her with defamation, but we wouldn't know that. That's not, there's not going to be a woe suite saying Zion has just hit her with a defamation suit. We wouldn't know. Unless so, unless she says, no, I mean, you would. Well, I'm saying you would, you would, you would, you would know because she'd be quiet. And her not because being quiet. One, one, one. Again, that's if if you gonna hit her with defamation. Other than that, take what can you hit her with? That's illegal. But no, I'm saying you can hit her with a gag order. Stop speaking. First of all, that's the first thing your lawyers do. Like like when you in that tax bracket, dog. Your lawyers handle all this stuff. Like for example, like I said, you watch 99 percent of the NBA. You think nobody has any problems? No. The, the, the thing is, the differences between them and him is they all understand how to have the right people in line to handle stuff like this. So he doesn't. And or or 
he knows that she has info. Like, for example, right? If I know that it, Shorty got some information on me that if she leaks it, it can end me, it ain't too much I can really say. I have to just sit up here and accept it because especially when he's coming out posting this stuff on his social media that he's posting about how he's feeling. Why are you feeling like that? If, if what, you're not, hold on, 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 but you're not, no, but you, you gotta understand where I'm coming from. I'm saying, why are you feeling like that? If you're not guilty, it's a whole bunch of stuff with this cat. And it's not just that. Go to basketball. Go to the part where he got traded and CJ McCollum said he ain't even hear from the dude. You're supposed to be the leader of the team. You get a new guy on your team. CJ went on national TV and said, I ain't even heard from Zion. And then right after that, now you know to talk to your new teammate. Then you got the stuff where he said he's 99% ready to go. And he says, oh, I don't want to play until I feel like I'm Zion. But then you look and he's doing windmill 360s on camera, like at the same time. And then, and then he's doing it this summer at the camps. And then you have your, your, your step pops. He can do a 360 no, no, windmill in his No, 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 no. You're not, you're not hearing you're, you're you're not, no, 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 you're, you're not, you're not, but no, no, you're not understanding what I'm saying. Listen, listen. It's called the optics, bro. When you're out here and you're doing stuff like that, and then you're not playing, you're not producing. But every time we see you you're doing the newest dump known to mankind, bro, it kind of makes us upset and look at you a different way. And then when you add all of the other stuff and distractions into it, now it look, makes us look at you like, what type of person are you? Are you a responsible person? Can you handle ah. being in the league and having that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. So listen, so you, you saying that. Here's the one thing we don't know. We don't know anything about anybody. The only thing we know is, is that this woman, he is totally wrong with all this stuff she's doing. And she, to me, to, to me, the all this stuff she's doing, she'd already had a case on her. We ain't even got to talk about that. The all the stuff she's doing to him, he he got to hold on. He got to open and shut case for the stuff she did in the public on him, right? But the fact that he hasn't said anything, him, and have let allowed all of this stuff to go, to go by the wayside. Remember, he just even came out and spoke on the fat, the fat rumor. And he, he acknowledged that. But he won't say nothing about this, and this is more Take so it. out in the public. Hold, Take it. Hold, hold on one second. Hold on one second. So this, hold on. This is more so out in the mm -hmm. public than that. All I'm saying to you is this, dog. All I'm saying to you is this. When you a guy like that, bro, and you have and you're making that type of money, bro, and you're in that situation, bro, my brother, all of these type of things, bro, never could be in the forefront ahead of basketball. When you got this stuff out here in the forefront ahead of basketball, and then Dom. The stuff with basketball is bad, too. Your character in basketball has been questioned, too. So we're not going to just act like, oh, no, well, we, he's no, 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 no. His basketball character has been questioned. They say he doesn't talk to the team, to his teammate, all of this stuff. So your basketball character has been put into question. Then when we have to look at this dude and say, then we have to look at this dude and say, bro, how responsible of an individual are you? How NBA ready are you to accept okay, the fact? Take it, take it. Hold on, 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 take it, take it, It's one thing that you're not like, and this is what I was saying in the group chat um, last night. No one is disagreeing with you. Yo, somebody might going crazy, but no one's it's, disagreeing it's Bob, with you. Bob, 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 put yourself no on No one's me. disagreeing with you that Zion hasn't been irresponsible with his career, that Zion hasn't been an idiot with how he's moving with Mariah. No one is disagreeing with you on that ticket. All we were disagreeing with you last night on was you was calling her all types of smart and she's moving gray and this and the third. And we're like, bro, it looks like she's moving like a liar and it doesn't like she's moving smart. Now with Zion, he has gave us pure evidence. He has shown us he is not responsible. He has shown us he's not reliable. Now, I would say when it comes to a young guy who I don't really think, I can't really, I don't think Zion has ever needed to be a real leader with any basketball team he's been on. Who's taught him any of this? When he came into the league, uh, uh, JJ, hold on, hold on. JJ Reddick, a year removed from playing with him. Well, right after he got done playing with the Pelicans, I want to say he retired that after that season. He got there, uh, he was there that one year, then he retired. He was on TV, he was doing his podcast, whatever it was. He said, Yeah, me and Zion, we don't really speak like that. When he seen CJ didn't um he didn't talk to CJ when CJ got there, he said, Damn, I gotta talk to Zion now. Like he had to call Zion to talk. Zion doesn't have no vets on that team. There are things, and Tiki, you can agree with this. There are some guys when they get to the NBA, they're not mentally mature enough to be a grown man, a grown man leading grown men. He has to be taught that. That's being instilled in him. He's already irresponsible. He's already irresponsible with his diet. He's already inconsistent on the court. 
and now you don't have vets in your locker room. If your vet is C.J. McCollum, who he got traded to the team when you got there, I don't think, or Garrett Temple, I don't think you're going to have great leadership. I don't think you're going to be moving the right ways. And every way Zion's been moving has been the wrong way. It's clear. No totally, one's I totally, We all I totally agree, agree Zion is moving I, no, 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 no. We all I, agree, I agree Zion is being an idiot. I, I, I feel you. All I'm saying is when it comes to this Mariah chick, I do agree. They... Something needs to be done. Somebody need to chill her the hell out because she's tripping. I, I agree. Something needs to be done. But I'm pointing the finger at A, she's looking like a liar. B, she looks crazy. And C, Zion just has a terrible team around him. All three of those things can be true at once. I'm going to leave it at this. And I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it done. First of all, the stepdaddy called her a liar. and She came and pulled out receipts the very next day. <laughs> These are facts. Which one the the receipts? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, about, I'm about to tell you. The stepdaddy said she was a liar, and the next day she dropped receipts that this dude spending a wire transfers of hundreds of thousands of dollars. This is true. Who stepdaddy? Who, 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 who step? Zion, Zion, Zion stepdaddy? Yeah, Zion stepdaddy. Zion stepdaddy. Yeah, yeah. The next okay. day she came out and dropped receipts of money he sent her, and he's dropped. She dropped receipts of flights, and she dropped receipts of pictures of her at his apartment, at his games, all of this stuff. So he dropped receipts after that. My whole thing to Damo is this, bro. Damo says she ain't winning. I'm saying, bro, it's a, this is bad that she's winning, but she is. Her subscriptions are all the way up. So her subscriptions are up times 2,000%. That's insane. She's getting offers out of the window, and he says she's been getting 100000 a month from this dude and was showing receipts since three years ago. So that's like one point seven million dollars. So but she has been winning. But no one denied that. No one said she was lying about the. Well, at least I. I didn't say she was lying about the money because she showed that she was getting money. What right. I always said from day one, if we go back to when this first started, if you go back to that uh that episode, the first thing I said was, yeah, I feel like she's and and I said something about it too. Yeah, I feel like she's lying about that baby because that she she seen that he had the whole baby shower. Then she goes in a whole spill and it hits him with the. Oh, and now I'm late. Oh, you better hope it ain't yours. What? Excuse me? Oh, yeah, no. Stop. She playing games. She's I go, hey, dog, I'm with you. Hey, Damo, listen, listen. We got to we gotta get on some hoop talk, though. We got to get on. We get to the hoop Play talk. We get to the hoop talk. Get stupid prizes, homie. That's a That's fact. fact. Hey, <laughs> hey, I feel you, Fluent. I don't disagree. <laughs> hey, hey Damo, and that's all, Damo, that's all we saying. I don't want nobody to think I'm on her side. No, I'm, I'm sitting back here. I'm with you. I'm thinking. Why haven't he? Why haven't he had his team move to kind of put this away and focus on the basketball? Because to me, this is his year right here, bro. If he don't do it this year on the court, that to me, that's his career. I think this year right is going to come in. This year. Right, right before we move forward, Ron, I got a question for the panel: What constitutes a bust as opposed to a what if? He's a bust because we've seen dudes with injuries before that have been able to play when they're on the court, but then when they, they've been hurt so much that they haven't been able to stay on the court that you call their career a bust. So, oh, you know what? It depends on if you're looking at him like Brandon Roy. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, you kind, you kind of said it. A what if is someone who can't play due to injuries. A bust is someone who plays and just doesn't live up to their expectations. So Kwame, no offense, I know he's going to come after me. Kwame Brown played a long career and didn't live up to a number one overall pick. He's a bust. A... Uh, a Greg Oden, or maybe Zion. I don't know Zion. I'm not going to put Zion there yet. A, a Greg Oden or someone who's injured, that's a what if because we never got to actually see them play in their prime for multiple years due to injuries. For me. Hey, hold on, Tone. Tone. Let, 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 let me bite back on that one second, Tone. Yeah. What you just said about Kwame being a bust. I'm going to ask you this. Does it matter what situation to? Because I'm going to tell you something. Like a long time ago, hold on, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this to you. Think about this. A long time ago, years ago, I thought that too. But then when he explained it, the way he broke it down, I was like, damn, he right. Like you go to a situation where you're with Michael Jordan. So, and Michael Jordan's got all of his buddies with him. You understand? So the game is not going to be focused on you now as a young fella coming in the league is going to be focused on all these older guys and on Mike. So how hard is that to go through that the first three or four years of your career when you are, you a high schooler, the first one ever to be number one overall, to have these type of expectations coming into the league. Like, to me, that right there can make or break an individual. We ain't talking about playing with any average Tom, Dick, or Harry. We talking about playing with Mike. 
and then you're, you're abso- not doing you're absolutely it. you're absolutely right your teammates the system your coach all that stuff goes into it but but that's kind of the reasons why versus look if you're a first overall pick if you're a Kwame Brown if you're an Anthony Bennett if you're an Andrew Wiggins there's an expectation when you're picked first and and I hate calling anybody a bust, especially guys who play 5, 10, 15 years in the league, because you're, you're pretty, if you think about it, you're one of like 450 people in the world that's good enough to play in the NBA. So none of them technically are a bust, but based on expectations, if you don't live up to them, you're right. The system, the coaching, the players is, it, it's so, a reason. So you're going to, Zion. But, but like Anthony, Zion Anthony Bennett? Okay, what about Anthony Bennett? No, no, I mean, I hold on. I agree with you now, but you're going to stay with Zion ends up only playing like seven years in the league because he can't stay healthy, even though we've seen that he was a beast when he was on the court. He, he won't be a bust. He'll be oh, a no, what if. He'll be a what if. Who got drafted to Jordan, who, did, who ended up playing 15, 14, 15 years, he a bust. That, is that what we're saying? When we saw Why? Zion Why? play, he's a, he was a beast. So, But I don't what's think the, he's what, 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 what's the What's the difference between a car, this car runs great, but the engine is bad. But when the engine is running, it's running good. Isn't that car a bust? Because it doesn't perform because it can't work. It's a lemon. Right. A lemon. Which is a, I, I, I spent money on something that doesn't work. Well, Zion, as good as he is, I think he's 26 and 7. That year he made the all-star team in year two. Missed all of last season. This season it just passed. Played 29 games. His availability. We drafted you on the premise that you were going to be available. We already knew what your game was. That's what we was drafting you for. But the fact mm. that you aren't available, wouldn't that make him a bust? I hate that. I, we use it. I use it. But I hate that term. Um, but, yeah, I guess technically. But, again, with Zion, I think he's healthy. I think he just doesn't want to play or he doesn't want to play there. I think he's healthy enough to play. That's just I'm not. I'm not too mad at the terminology for it. It's more so that the – like how you're saying, what's the difference? And I think Zion right now would be considered a what if. Even though I even though I agree with you, I think he could have played. He just didn't want to. If if his reason is um his injuries, and I can't prove he's not injured, then I think he's a what if. But Kwame, I, I would have to consider him a bust regardless of where he got drafted to. But honestly, I should I damn near rather have Kwame than Zion. It doesn't, hold on. Oh, what, what, we, we what, it doesn't we matter what situation he was in about. No, nah, matter what, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, so not, that's just that's just that's just how the cookie crumble. You go where you go. No, 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 so, 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 Bob, that so hold on, Bob, that, I, mean, I, understand, I understand, I understand all that ticket. Like, I don't, I don't, he got drafted. I, I might be, it, was, it, was, it wasn't I a might cool be situation, in, whatever, but it's like, shit, if you hey, if you're not if you're not showing up, if you're not getting your, your numbers or whatever, if you're not if you're not good, then you're a bust. So, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if I'm contradicting my own point here, and maybe I am, but hold on, because on Kwame, is it maybe that was his ceiling? was he was going to be a role player on a team. And it's not his fault that a team drafted him incorrectly first overall. Like, maybe that just hap- that's just who he was. He was a 10, whatever he was, 10 and 10 guy, and that's who he was. And now we call- – because now I'm trying to see it from his side. Well, now you're calling me a bust, but at the same time, yo, that's who I am as a player. I didn't choose to go first overall. He wasn't projected to go first overall. It's not like – you know what I mean? Like, why are we putting that label on him because of a GM or an owner who drafted him in the wrong spot? Maybe that's just who he was, and they weren't good at evaluating talent, or they picked him, fair. as we know, based on potential. That, or you got him to oh, hold on, or you got him to a bad situation because you can look. Like, we, can sure, go, sure. We, can go through, we can go through NBA history. Look at Jermaine O'Neal. If he doesn't end up getting moved over and put in a different situation, they would have looked at him as if he was a bust. Right. With how things was going when he was over in Portland. His career over important. He was on the bench, right? He was, he, well, no, sure. Now, listen. The tragic ending to Drazen Petrovic. But remember Drazen? Where was he in Portland or Seattle? And and he they were Portland. playing him. Portland, yeah. He's right. sitting on the bench. They're mm-hmm. like, this guy's garbage. He goes to the Nets, and they go, "Yo, go, go, run with it. You're a starter." All of a sudden, we talk about him now. It's like one of the greatest what ifs ever. Had he not passed away, because he was a phenomenal player. So yeah, absolutely, ticket. The situation, your coach, a hundred percent plays a factor in that. And the difference with that, the difference with the difference with that logic tone that he was playing behind Drex, but we saw the talent, we saw the potential, and how good he actually was. Because when he was on the floor, we saw him shoot the basketball. We saw how good he could be, and then when he got to New Jersey, we saw how good he was going to be. 
So okay. those two things are completely different as opposed to Zion. Well, who, but if you never, not, but if you I'm, never get, if they're like, hey, we got this nice shooter, we're going to keep him coming off the bench and have him playing a limited right. role. Like just you know, think about how many players we've seen go from one place to another and they right. flourish. Just Steph, would Steph Curry be Steph Curry? If if he got drafted by Minnesota, you've said he wouldn't even him. be in the league five years him. later. They would have ruined it. They would have wrecked so, him. I'm sure of that they yeah. would have wrecked him. So tickets make. I'm a good sure point. that they would have wrecked him. But the idea about Zion, Bob mentioned that him not being injured. Like you, what, what you can't do is you can't show me stuff that you do, and then tell me, well, I'm 99 percent sure I could play, but I'm just not 100. You can't do that. And the reason why you can't do that is because now what I'm doing is. I'm test. I'm now what I'm now what you're showing me is you showing me how mentally weak you are, and a guy like Zion, who since when do you have to be a hundred percent sure you can play? When, since if, if this is about basketball, especially when you're getting in in, in workouts and you're doing 360 windmills and throwing the ball between your legs, you clearly are ready to play. Mentally, if you're not ready to play, don't come out here, B. Yeah, Grant, not, Grant Hill, Grant Hill was here. playing. Grant Hill was playing on one leg. He just wanted to play, dude. Yeah. Don't what's come out what's, what's, the, 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 what's, the, what's the chances of Zion starting the season off healthy and playing and ended up traded at the devil? Well, we in, we're going into year five. I, I want to make sure we clear on that, Big Ox. We're going into year five. So what you see this year, this is probably who this dude is going to be mm-hmm. throughout the rest of his career. Now, if I could get I've, – I've, I've said this in the past to Tone. If I could get 60 – if I could get 60 to 65 games for him for five years, I'm happy. I'll take that every day, every day of the week. I'm not sure I'm going to get that. And the reason why I'm not sure I'm going to get that is because, number one, he doesn't take care of his body. Two, I don't really know how much he loves to play basketball. That's the thing that I'm concerned with the most. Because when I think about guys who play basketball, who play injured, who play through injury, there's a certain level of love that you have for the game. I don't think Zion has that. I think yeah. he's of the generation of I think he's of the generation of guys who play for what comes with the game. I don't think he really loves the game like that. So are you moving off him if you if you're in New Orleans? If I could get something substantial, I'm having a difficult time with it, Ox, because if I could get five years of health, I think he's one of the faces of the league. I just don't think I'm gonna get it. I don't based off, off what he, based off, time, based off, chill based off what he said, I would have traded him immediately. As soon as I heard him say what he said on the Gill show, I would have traded him. That day he'd have been traded. What You're he not gonna tell me I got all the money in the world and I I I, I I'm lazy and I'm fat. You're not gonna tell me that, bro. Why am I paying you this money? You, oh man, I don't know. If no, 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 no. Yes, yes, hold on, yes, yeah, hold on, yes, because Charles Barkley's even said this too. He said Moses went to him. And said, get your fat ass in shape or you're going to be out of the league. And he had instantly went and lost 50 pounds and got into shape. This dude had been in the league almost five years now. He is what he is, bro. And if he doesn't get that weight down, guess what's going to happen? He's going to get hurt again because he's overcompensating for different parts of his body. A dude that big, that strong, that athletic, when you landing and stuff like that, and when you running on that type of body, bro, his limbs, his lower extremity are taking a whole lot of, are taking a whole, a whole, a whole lot of force and a whole lot of wear and tear, bro. That's why he keep getting hurt. So all you're gonna do is keep going down the same pattern over and over and over and over again, bro. And every single gonna year, keep... all you're doing, is, yeah, you rolling the ball further down the street. And now what you're doing is, is you're making him even less attractive. You're making him even less. You're, you're lowering his value because if he goes out here again this year, Damo, and he gets hurt again, guess what that did to his value from what you could have got from right now? It shuts but him down. But he's always more. gonna, he's always gonna have, but he's always gonna have. Maybe it's a bad thing. He's always gonna have an opportunity. And nowhere, listen, I'm about to give you a name. And they don't compare in terms of talent, but in terms of weight and inability to stay underweight. Oliver Miller. Oliver Miller had such a hard time with his weight, but he was long. He was length, right? He he could block shots, was a good passer, right? And even though he could not keep his weight under like 800 pounds, he kept getting opportunities because of his talent. So now you take a guy like Zion, who's a hundred times more talented than him. He's always going to get a chance. And maybe that's a, maybe it's a bad thing. Take it. You're really listening. I think the difference with that, the, uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Chip. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, the, the, the difference with Oliver Miller is Oliver Miller was actually available. He might have had a weight problem, but he had played Oliver. Yeah, no, that's that. That's that, 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 his we talk, we're talking about we talking about a Zion Williamson. We're talking about a Zion Williamson who in the four years that he 
He's been in the league. He's averaged 29 games. He's missed two-thirds of the season. And y'all telling him tell I'm crazy. We, we, we and this man should have been like that. Chill. We he should have been telling me I'm crazy. He questioning me whether I trade this. This dude played 29 games for a season. He gone. Exactly. Just like exactly. I was, if I was the Clippers, I'd have traded Kalai and Paul George. Two I'm not, I'm not going to continue to go through this cycle again. Listen, won't you show me who you are? Uh, it's over with. It's a wrap. We ain't we not gonna keep going back through this. I don't seen this for four years. Twenty nine games per season, and I'm paying you, and I got you on a fat contract, all kind of clauses, and you still only playing an average of twenty nine games per season. No, him. I'm I'm getting off Just you as soon him. as possible. Here's the difference between him and Oliver Miller. His game is predicated majority off of his athleticism, and I'm talking about Zion. Zion's game is 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 a major part dedicated dedicated off his athleticism and his ability yeah, to do the athleticism. Big, the biggest part of his game is flight seven, and athleticism. Right. And when that goes, seven, it's going to be it's He's going with because he don't have the same type of – he don't have the same type of outside game that some of the other bigs in the league got. He don't – he can't go out and shoot the J on a consistent basis like Jokic. He don't got that type of game. He hadn't worked on – that's another thing, bro. I've always hated this about these NBA players. We're paying these dudes more and more money, and every year they come back with the same game, B. Work on your game. Expand your game. Add pieces to your game. Every single no, year, you know why I ticket? Really Here's the problem. Here's the problem with that. The problem that we have with that is exactly what's going on right now in the league. Everybody gets moved, and because everybody gets moved, you don't demand that these dudes get better. That's why they don't get better. So when you see a guy like Bam Adebayo two years ago who wasn't good in the playoffs, trade him. He's only in year three, by the way. Trade him instead of yo, this ain't good enough. Get better. You don't put that kind of heat on these guys. Instead, you're quickly ready to move them out the door. You don't demand that they get better. That's why the all-time greats are what they are, because people demanded that they got better, and they did. These guys, they're not demanding that they get better. And because they're not, they don't. Sure. Yeah, 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 Jason Tatum. That, that thing Stop going old party, Jason Tatum. Though. Get better. We no, no, Rod, you're not listen, telling me that, Rod. You're not no, no, telling no, me that, Here's why. This is what I'm saying. Listen, this, this mm. what I'm saying. Went, you went to college for a few years, so you came yeah. to the league a lot more mature, a lot better. Mm -hmm. On top mm -hmm. of that, how you were saying back then, like, People weren't just getting shipped around as much. But also the most important thing, too, is mm -hmm. teams have vets. So you weren't coming. A lot of people, unless you were a superstar talent, a lot of dudes weren't just coming in right away and just the face of the franchise. You got right. to stick around and you came off the bench for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. hey, Kobe, guys like that, you got to come off the bench for a couple of years. Right. You got to play under dudes. You got to actually develop. Mm -hmm. Now it's like. You come in and you're 18 and we're giving you the keys to the franchise. Right? And they cared about the, the game. With teams like the Memphis Grizzlies, where you got oh. your, your whole starting lineups under 24 years old. Right. Ron, it's not even just like, that, Ron. Not even, not even just playing behind the vet. Even if you did come in and play, you still have vet. You still have vet on the team. It was their team. They ran the locker room. They they kept everybody accountable. Yeah. Nowadays, if you get drafted early, if you if you are a one and done guy, they just like, oh no, it's his team. Why is it his team? Because he's the best player here. He gets paid the most. Like that should that doesn't that shouldn't mean you should give this young fella the drive, put him in the driver's seat of your franchise. You still need vets that are controlling the locker room, like I said, keeping everybody accountable, making sure that you you're not going when we on the road on the road, you're not acting a fool, you know what I'm saying? Like so, so Bob, not, you, you, and, you and Mars, you and Mars are in agreement then. Cause I know you are like when you look at guys on your team, you expect guys, and I know Mars expect guys like Jalen Green and some of these other guys to when they come back next year to improve other parts of their game. Is it so that is that true or false? I'm, I'm expect I'm expecting Jalen Green to improve more so because he because because now he got a bet guard like Fair Van Fleet. And I know y'all said uh before that Fair Van Fleet isn't just a super good facilitator or anything. I'm not saying he is, but I think Fred Van Fleet is gonna is gonna know how to help get Jalen Green more more open looks. And yeah, I think I think Jalen Green should be improving his game during the offseason. I expect him to come back next year and be much more efficient than he was last year and score more points. I think I think this year is the year where people finally are on notice. Like, okay, Jalen Green's about to be one of them guys. You know what? You know what? No, you know. I'll give you this. I'll give you this. You know, Fred Van Vliet. Because I said, I listen. I don't talk. I don't speak very highly of Fred Van Vliet. But I'll give you this: if Fred Van Vliet can get Jalen Green to buy into his work ethic, because the one thing I you will never question about Fred is that man. That man was undrafted and went from undrafted to who he is today. That kid knows how to work. So if he puts in that work, Jalen Green gets that from Fred Van Vliet. Then, then Mars might be right. 
he might be something special. But what is? Hold they on, they already working out together. Is, I, don't, I know Omar, you've seen the tapes. They running hills. They, running, and that's yeah. and that's yeah, already I, I, as soon as he signed the contract. They already. But Omar, what what is already Domo, there. Domo, Domo. You know, it's one thing to run a hill for a month. It's another thing to do it as as part of your lifestyle. But so that's what I'm saying. If he gets that, if he develops that work ethic, yeah, you got to start. He's starting out right. He's starting out right. Absolutely. Yeah, but I'm about to say, Mars, you haven't seen that. That says yeah. something from Jalen we haven't seen before. He's been in the league two years. I haven't seen him going to an offseason, and he's running hills with Josh Christopher. Like I wasn't, yeah, yeah. I wasn't seeing I was that not before. Going on. So that this, was not going so on. Th- and maybe, wasn't. and you know what? And to their credit, maybe it was. It just wasn't put out there, and this could easily be just guys trying to say. No, it wasn't, Damo. No, it was hey, not. Cause... Hey, listen, listen. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna put nothing past these guys. These I are would. millionaires, mm-hmm. but they, and they like the social media. The social media that we live in. If he was doing that, we would have seen it. One hundred percent. Watch this, Domo. Now, now, Mars. What are some of the things that you look for, and 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 then uh, after you, I want to hear from uh, Bob too about because I heard him talk a lot about Key. He's high on Keegan Murray, but what are some of the things that you're looking for, Jalen Jalen uh, Green, to improve on this year? Because I seen his decision making was bad last year. I seen a lot of different things about his game. What what, what, what are you looking for this year? Um, defensively, I think he has the tools to be good. I think he just needs to buy in more on that end. I think Ime Udoka is going to help him with that. I think with the athleticism that he has, and when he does lock in on possessions, you can see he has the tools to be a good defender. I think that needs to be more consistent. I think his decision-making out the pick and roll needs to be a lot better. I think he's a willing passer, but it's just about what reads he knows how to make. Right now, he's being taught different reads. He doesn't really anticipate many things. He just knows what to look for, and then he'll try and make those correct reads. I think he needs to just expand his game in that regard and just understand different types of reads against different defenses so that he can be more dangerous as a scorer and a playmaker. I think his mid-range game needs to improve. Because last year, I don't know what happened. It just seemed to fall off a cliff that he couldn't really seem to make any mid-range jump shots. I think that needs to get back to the level above where it was in his rookie year, but somewhere closer to that because his second year seemed to be a slump from that end. And I think he just needs to get stronger so he can absorb contact around the rim better as well. Those are the type of things that I'm looking for the most. And then when he does that. Yeah. Hey, Bob, I heard you talking a lot yeah. about Keegan Murray too, homie. Like, what's your, what's your, thoughts, what's your thoughts on him? I'm, I'm I really with Keegan. It's a lot. Um, first, I'll talk about on the defensive means. I'm looking for Keegan to probably not be yet this year, but on his way to being our lockdown, our, our defender, you know, the one that guards the big wings, the one that guards the, school, the shooting guards. I'm expecting Keegan to be our guy as far as that. And then I'm expecting him to step up and in, in, in creating his own shot. Not by not by like playing like Tyler Hero or Jordan Poole making a bunch of moves, but you know, quick moves, jabs that one can't pull up, you know, stuff like that. Being able, being able to get those shots off. I, I think that's what Mike Brown is is kind of getting Keegan, Keegan comfortable with doing. And I, so I'm, I'm expecting to see that because last year, everything that Mike Brown was telling Keegan, I need you to do this. I need you to rebound. Keegan goes out, okay, boom, next couple games, his rebound improves. I, I saw this expecting to sustain that and do all those things that Mike Brown is wanting from Keegan. Yo, Bob, um, I, I need a couple more predictions when it comes to Keegan. So, uh, like, so last year he averaged like 12 and four. Do mm-hmm. you, what, what do you see his numbers going from there? Um, <clears throat> I'm looking for 17, 18 for, from Keegan um, this year. Um, and, uh, and, if he, and honestly, Honestly, I think Mike Brown. I think Mike Brown really wants to make Keegan obviously not take a step back from De'Aaron and Demontis. No, but I think Keegan is going to be like our first option to shoot on offense, bro. So it it can and might not be now, maybe next year. Keegan is going to get plus twenty plus, bro. I think twenty plus shots or twenty plus points. No, 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 no. Twenty, maybe someday. I don't know. I don't know. I hope. I hope he's not. I hope he's going to be the focal. Do you think he's going to be the focal point of the O at some point? Yeah, I do. I think because De'Aaron can get De'Aaron can get his whenever he wants. Demontis is really our facilitator. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I I think Keegan is going to be our first option as far as shooting, not like our number one, like our best player. I know sometimes say number people say number one and mean it different ways. When I say number one. I mean, and when we're running our offense, who are we looking first to shoot? I think it's going to be Keegan Murray. Yeah, y'all, talking down on Bob in that comment. y'all talking down on Bob in that comment section, but be honest with you, y'all got to think about this too, Chill Town. Old boy taking a step back now in his career. Um, what's old boy's name they just re-signed? Um, that Mark came from the Warriors? Barnes. Harrison, Harrison Barnes. Barnes. So he's taking that, like, you could tell he's yeah. taking a step back, like, in his career. So that is a pocket, uh, Chill Town, where he can kind of fill in. Yeah. And Harrison Barnes at his best was like an 18, 19 point per game guy, right? 
He was about yeah, 17, 18, 18 games, something like that. Yeah, he and fought Dallas, 17. Dallas, at, and his best. Yeah. at his best. But this is but the, what, what, still, what Ox is talking it's about. It's still De'Aaron's team, though. Right. What Ox is talking about, what Mars is talking about, this is the expectation, and this is the level of expectation that should be put on these dudes. When you are the number two overall pick in the draft, when you're a top 10 pick, you're an integral part of what a unit is doing, and you and the team is getting better, you should be improving. And if you if you falter in the playoffs in year two and in year three, it should not be, yo, we got to move on from this dude. No, demand that this guy get better. This isn't good enough. Because when you demand that this dude get better, that means the team's going to get better. That means that you put more pressure on the organization to get better as opposed to just letting these guys off the hook. Because if you let him off the hook in year three, well, the same thing is going to happen with the other crew. Well, if it's not working here, then I'm going to be out here too. Now we're in year seven, and I'm basically the same dude I was in year three because nobody ever really put that pressure on me to get better. Amari Stoudemire, I think about him more than anything. The reason why I think about him is because I remember hearing Amari Stoudemire say, this is in like year eight, quote, being in the NBA, nobody ever taught me how to play defense. That is ridiculous, man. That is ridiculous to hear that. That a guy that athletic, a that guy that you, big, you vomit, it makes me nuts, big <laughs> ass. A guy that athletic, a guy that big, who has never in his career averaged double figure rebounds to say that nobody ever taught me how to play defense. What are you guys doing with this guy that he shouldn't be an, a, at least a good defender as opposed to an all league defender? He should be at least good. That's because the demand wasn't there. And, the, and because the demand isn't there, that's why we see these guys either turn into good players or average players as opposed to elite players or or hey hold on i will say this and i what you're saying is true i'm not taking the blame away from the organization but you're making millions of dollars take one of those millions of dollars and pay someone to teach you what you don't know and get better yourself just like you should want to you have to want to get better they have the resources right like uh, was it kobe i want to say and others yo my footwork isn't where i want to be what did they do they reached out to hakeem and they were like yo dream man Show me that footwork in the post. Let me. They they went out and look, look. Look, I'm not comparing people to Kobe. He was different. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is, if you see a weakness in your game, I agree with you. It's all- talking crazy about me now because I had Dwight out of the top ten centers. But that's part of the reason why everybody looked at Dwight like he was great just because he was great on one end of the floor. Dwight was horrible offensively. He mainly got his points off dunks, tip ins, and stuff like that. He really had no offensive game. So when I had guys over him. Those guys actually had better games and improved their games and was solid on both ends, like Zoe Warning, like Pat Ewing, and these guys like that. You, you know what I'm saying? So when guys was clowning me for that, that's the reason why, because I felt like Dwight never improved his game on the offensive end. In fact, I thought he got worse as he came in the league at this first two or three years. It's like he got worse his entire career offensively to the point where nobody wanted throwing the ball in the post. So that was just my thought. That was, that's the reason why I had him ranked. Outside of the outside of the top ten centers of all time. Well, two things. Two two things. Number one, tone when Brian got with Elijah he was in like year twelve when he got with Elijah so he was way more mature at that point. Number two, when you there's a reason why teams have a player development department. That's your job to develop these guys and turn them into pros. That's your job to develop my offensive game. That's your job to develop my defensive game. If I'm 22 years old and I'm in the NBA, once again, Tone, I am not a pro. I have pro potential. It's your job to teach me the pro game. And if I don't know it, that's going to be on you guys. That's going to be – it's not my sole responsibility to go, yo, I need to get better as a defender, so let me go pay somebody. No, my job is paying me, and it's their job to develop me into that and get better at that. Stop letting these dudes off the hook and having them get traded. Demand that these dudes get better. Hold on, hold on. To doing the conversation that said it about me talking about some stop acting like I watch highlights. Fool, I watch the games of Dwight. I watch his games. The dude had one move. Yeah, what are you talking about? Hook. He had a running hook. That's it. He didn't have no post moves. He had no jump shot. He never improved any part of his game offensively throughout his entire career. This is why he got into arguments with Kobe Bryant. This is why he got into arguments with James Harden later on. They didn't want to throw him the ball because he had no moves. We watched it. A dude that dominant, that big and strong, supposed to average 30. He's supposed to have been putting up damn near Shaq numbers. These are facts. So, so he's so like 21 points. Do you think Dwight underachieved? Yes, hell yeah. He could have yes. been, been, been better. He, 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 I don't think he underachieved. Yeah. What? Mars, Mars you're muted. 
can't hate you, Miles. Depend. It depends on your expectations. I mean, you are, the best, when you, be, when be, you came in the league. Well, I was. League, I never. Man. I never saw him live. I'm going back and watching. Right. And for me, being the best big in the league for six, seven years, I don't know if it's, do I do I think he could have been better than he was. Yes. Do I think that means he underachieved? Not necessarily, because he did. Bro, it, it he underachieved because on listen, listen. What you think he underachieved. Underachieve. All the centers, all the great centers in the game, called him out for being an underachiever. All the great centers called him out because he never improved his post game. He never improved it. His defensive game, cool. I don't have no issue with that. But his post game as a leader of that team was so horrible. He never improved his post moves from year one to year to year whatever he retired. He never improved his post game, bro. Hold on, hold on. I think horrible oh, is a hard it was, it was just oh, one. Oh, it was oh, one oh, dimension. It was a one dimension. But it's just like, hold on. It's just like who you talking about? Hold on. It's just like Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard. Hold on. Shaq said he never. Hold on. Shaq said he never respected Dwight because he never reached his full potential on that end, and he's right. That dude was supposed to dominate the era he played in. He was supposed to hold on. He was supposed to average like twenty six to twenty seven points. Easy, bro. Easy. This dude, so so this dude, saying, like, like I said before, with his ability. What if he did his, reach his potential, though? What, what if what if huh? he just what if he just he did hold on? Was it, was Ron, it that he did, Ron, I'm gonna tell you why he did Ron. Like, like, I'm gonna tell you why he did Ron. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you why he didn't reach his potential. Because he ran the dude off that was gonna push him to reach his potential. And Stan Van Gundy, the dude, the dude he pushed off and he got to his only NBA to let his only team to, to the NBA finals with, he he ran him off and said that he told the team to fire this guy because he was too hard on him. He pushed him too hard every day. That's the reason why he never reached his potential. That dude should have been a 25, 26 point per game, just like Ewing. He should have been up there just like Carl Malone. If Carl Malone could average 26, 27, 28 points in the era he played in, don't tell me. And Carl Malone was devoid mostly of a post game. So don't tell me he can put up those numbers. And hold on, in the 90s era, where the offense was more down, He's averaging those numbers, but Dwight Howard comes in the league where the competition is much weaker, and he's and his best was like 20, 21, one year. Take it, get take it, take it, take it. Can I ask you a question? Uh, I have two, two separate questions. One, so do you feel like guys like Alonzo Mourning, Dikembe Mutombo, you know, other great defensive centers, or Ben Wallace, do you feel like they reached their full potential? Look, okay, as far as Ben Wallace goes, I don't think Ben Wallace reaches full potential offensively. I thought he could improve this game. And I, that's because I seen stuff from him in the summertime that he never implemented in the games as far as offensively. So he should have worked on his offensive game. And then he showed you flashes in the NBA finals when he was getting 16, 17. Okay, what about the Kimbe and Alonzo? So, hold on. Zoe and the Kimbe. Kimbe. What about the, hold on. With the Kimbe, hold on. With the Kimbe, it was a little different to me because the Kimbe came in a league more offensively skilled. His teams went away from that as he went on in his career. His teams kind of went away from him offensively, and they went to more of the guard options on his team. So he became from being a dude that was averaging, I think, like 16 a couple of years to where it should have went up with Dikembe because he actually had a solid post game. Chilltown noticed he actually had a solid post game coming out of school to where it went down. So and I don't think I don't completely blame that on him because I watched his career and I watched the guys he played with. Guys like Dwight, who the team was sending around, bro. The team was sending around him. They had him and a bunch what of What about Zoe? Whoa, 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 whoa. What about Zoe? What about Alonzo Mourning? Okay, I asked on. about him Zoe, too. Come on, come on. Zoe and Proto. Zoe improved this game. Look how many years. Hold on. Look how many years Zoe, Zoe Mourning was 20. Y'all talking about Dwight. Zoe Mourning no, no. had more years. Hold Did on, hold on. Zoe reach his full potential ticket, yes or no? No, 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 no. He didn't reach his full potential, but he reached his potential. Hold on. He reached his potential more than, than uh, Dwight reached his. Zoe, okay. Zoe Mourning. Re hold on. I'm going to repeat myself again. Alonzo Mourning reached his potential more than Dwight reached his. And, and can't nobody say he didn't. Because if you go back and you look at Zoe's career, right? If you look at his career, he, he had years where he was 23. That, that's a better year than Dwight. Any year Dwight had. The year he averaged 23 and 10.4 and, and 2.7 okay. blocks. Now, can that I was, ask? Go look at Dwight's best season. Real quick, real quick. Now, can I ask, do you not... Do you not feel that Dwight Howard being the kid who came out of high school as a big man, who for any big man coming out of high school, I feel like you really have to rely on your physical, your physical attributes. So your athleticism and your build, because he was a bigger guy. Do you not feel like there's any blame to be had on the, the developmental team on the Orlando Magic for not pushing his post game any further? Because all he did was no, came because, in the league. Hold on, no, because hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I all he did was came in the league. All he did was came in the league and did exactly what 
he was he got there to do. He he played his game. Now, when you get and, and Chill made a good point earlier. I do what I have to do to get here and get paid. At that point, if you want me to develop this area of my game, I, I do feel like there's a, a bit of self accountability for developing your game. But you gotta you gotta love it, and everybody don't love it. And I don't think Dwight was one of those guys that just loved it. He's about to call Hakeem. He's about to call these guys. He's post moves down. So that's up to your developmental team to be like, all right, Dwight, you know, went three years being this great defensive guy. Let's actually put you in the post to do work instead of getting stand down here to give you these literally guys around. Because I watched Dwight. Dwight was one of my cookie, favorite right? players at that time. Hold on. Stan Van Gundy had him in the offense catered to his play style. Stan Van Gundy did not push him. Stan Van Gundy did not push him. He did not push him. He did not push him. He did not watch push it. Okay. All right. Ticket. Hey, ticket. Watch, hold ticket. On, ticket. ticket. I watched hold it. on. Ticket. Bro, I didn't tell you. You're not going to lie. You're not going to lie. You're not going to lie. Stan Van Gundy. I watched it, bro. He did not push him. Ticket. Listen to what I'm saying first. You're trying to talk and not listen. He did not push him to be a better offensive talent. All he did was maximize what he could do with his playing style. A la, I'm going to put four shooters around you and let you rim run and control the paint. That's literally what he did. He did not have that. Hold on. And, now, and, now Dwight, I and, I feel like, and I feel like you're undervaluing the post game that Dwight did have. Okay, now was my turn. Like now was down my there with no moves. Now, the man now had was a couple moves to go to. Now was, go ahead, though. Now was go my ahead. turn to destroy your ass. That's a damn lie. I watched Dan Van Gundy in the flesh harp on Dwight Howard improving his offensive package in his game every single day. You don't believe me? Chill Town is down there in Florida. He'll tell you. He know what the hell I'm talking about. Stan Van Gundy pushed on him every day. And let me tell you something. Dwight Howard pushed back and didn't want that. That's the reason why he pushed him out. But here's something that Ethan is your whole excuse. And go ahead and hit me with the flame emojis after I send this boy straight to hell. Check it out, y'all. What about Kevin Garnett? He went to a putrid organization. He was railed thin out of high school. And what did KG do with his game? He expanded his game. He improved his he game. He had an offensive game he, when he no, got to the league. Not. He KG could handle was, the ball. Yes, KG he did. Was solid. KG was solid. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. KG was solid when he came in the league. But KG vastly improved his game. He vastly improved his shooting. He vastly improved his post moves. when he came, From when he came to high school, go watch him when he was at high school. Go watch him when he was at the prep school. Go watch him versus when he was three years in the NBA, four years in the league. His game completely, his game completely got taken to another level. Because you got to remember, when he came in the league, he wasn't even starting. He wasn't even starting. He had to really work for it. Take it who really offensive game was better game. coming out of high school? Uh, Kevin Garnett or Dwight Howard? Obviously, hold on, hold on, hold on. Obviously, you're going to say both of them because of the simple no, fact no, that No, no, you're they, not going to say both of them. Whose offensive game was better coming out of high let, school? Let, hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Whose offensive game was better? Hold on, Kevin Garnett or Dwight Howard? Hold on, I'm telling you, they were both equal. I watched both of them. I'm telling you, they were both equal. They were equal? Hold on, listen. I'm about to give you an example, dog. This is how I know you don't watch basketball. Bro, I'm going to take. I'm gonna give you an example of a dude's game who got worse. Kayvon Looney looked like KD in high school. He come in the league, he he don't do nothing like what he was doing in high school no more. Wait, so, wait, so Dwight take Howard, it. hold on. Okay. Dwight you, Howard in high school. think that game was even? In high school, yes. Go back and watch Dwight Howard in high school, bro. Go and watch him again when he came to the league, bro. Go watch Dwight in high school when he came to the league. Go watch KG. Go watch both KG and both Dwight Howard in high school, bro. They were both dominant, both yamming on dudes. They were both getting buckets around the post area. That's high school. That's not, even, that's not even close. No, no, no. Right. Hold on. No, no, no. But look, hold on. This is what I'm saying. This what I'm saying. Right. They both came from high school to the league. What I'm yeah. saying is, is when they got to the league, they both came into poor organizations. Mm hmm. What had what was the difference? The difference was is that Dwight Howard had a great coach in Stan Van Gundy who was pushing him, who was always on his helmet to be greater, and Dwight never wanted to accept that. Hence, we got to the day he had that interview, and Stan Van Gundy went up to, to the podium and said, Dwight wants me fired. And Dwight came up behind him and was like, Hey Stan, what's up? That's not true. We I watched it. And Chilltown, he's he's in Florida. He can tell you, bro. That man never ever, and but when you go look at KG. Go watch KG from his rookie year games to year four. You will see a vast improvement from his rookie year to game four. Go watch, I dare anybody in here to go watch KG's rookie year to his year four. Go watch Dwight's rookie year yeah, you're, to you're year saying, four. You're saying Dwight never improved. Bro, I'm, no, I'm telling you, he didn't do half of what he was supposed to do. 
How do we know what these players are supposed to do, though? I think no, no, that's no. Wrong. That, I think that, that's what that's I think that's I was wrong. Trying to trying to Maybe Dwight early. was never going to be an elite know? offensive player. Everybody, everybody just don't got it. You know what I'm saying? Like we we can project, but that's kind of like saying if Wimby doesn't have a if Wimby's career is Hakeem Olajuwon and he's a bust. That's just like saying that we don't know how good these cats are supposed to be, and we also don't know the type of work they're putting in the offseason. We can speculate and we can we can listen to rumors, but we don't know. All right. I did. I watched it. Hey, look, I watched it. All them dudes in the comment section, Chill Town, they weren't even old enough to watch KG and, and what you call it when he came in the league. So, you dudes that's 22 in the comment section talking shit, y'all capping, nigga. Show your IDs, nigga. You niggas is capping. I Show your watch. ID right now. You niggas is capping. You can't talk about some shit you didn't watch. I watched Dan Van Gundy. Damo was too young to understand what the hell he was looking at. At that time, I literally wasn't. I so what the hell are you wasn't. talking about? I literally. I, so I, take I, it, take it. I name me. No, 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 no. Since you, since you, you watch so much. Since niggas is just so young. Tell me the four best centers in 09. Who were they? Give me the list. The four best centers. Bro, I just can't go off my brain. No. Hold on. Go I ahead. can't go off my brain. No. Hold on. I can't just go off my brain. Just give me the second. Of, give me the second. Hold on. Hold on. I'm thinking of the era in general. Hold on. I'm thinking of the era. Hold on, bro. I'm thinking of the era in general. So I can't just go to one year. I can think of uh, around those years because that one year you could you could be looking Give at me a list and I don't have to hold on. But if I go around that year, your top centers in the league were Tim Duncan, KG, probably I would say uh, Dirk, uh, and let me see who else. Tim Duncan, KG, Dirk, and you name three power forwards. <laughs> huh? You, you said big men. I said centers. Said I said centers. He centers said centers. He said centers. centers. Oh, okay. Like well, okay. Dwight, well, hold on. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't really too Yao many. Ming. It wasn't really too many great centers in the league. It was like three or four great centers, three centers in the league. Yeah. That's hold on. That's my point. Hold on. That makes my point. My point was this. And I'm gonna say it again. Chill Town. Carl Malone in the '90s. That was an era where the scoring was down, right or wrong. During that time, scoring was yeah. down. Just, and for the team, the scoring the team. Right. What was Carl Malone averaging at his best in the 90s, Chill? He had an 11 year stretch where he averaged 28 a game. Against elite big men. And did Carl Malone have a post game where he was throwing up all these crazy jump hooks and stuff like that? No. He didn't have a Kevin, he didn't have a Kevin McHale post game. No, but, he could, no, but he could hold on. But let's go to this. Let's go to this. What's Dwight Howard's excuse in a league that was faster, scored more points, and he had weaker competition? I rest my case, sucker. He was a defensive center. He played. Yeah. There, right. there no, have no, been no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. This is that. crazy. This is crazy. There were defensive centers in the era before him. There are defensive centers in the era after him. So I don't they understand why. So that. no, no, they didn't trick us to think that. That was his thing. He was a defensive they, no, they center. Trick, no, no, no. They tricked you to think he was just a defensive center. They tricked you to think that. They, these are the facts. They tricked so you to think he was just a defensive center. You got bamboozled. Lonzo, Lonzo Mourning was a defensive center who did, if I'm not mistaken, I think he averaged 20 a game like six times. Seven six or eight times, years. Yes, six times in like eight years, something, something like that. Now, first, seven out, of, first seven out of eight years. Yeah, he averaged 20 a game. Now, there's a difference, Damo, with a guy coming out of college as opposed to a guy coming out of high school. Now, I can I can attest, Dwight Howard should have been better offensively. Like that, the athlete that he was, not only the athlete that he was, the rim runner that he was, the fact that he did not want to play, Mars and I had this conversation yesterday. The fact that he did not want to play in pick and roll. Can you imagine how much better Dwight Howard would have been playing pick and dive, playing pick and roll, playing pick and pop? The fact that he never developed a mid post game. The fact that he never developed a mid range game, like Elijah did, right? Like Alonzo Mourning did, where Alonzo Mourning could stick the 14, 15 footer. How much better of a player he would have been if he could have developed that? Nobody's saying that he had to develop that and go to that on the regular, but that part of his game offensively as a scorer would have made him so much better. The fact that he only had, and don't get me wrong, Jabbar had a sky hook, but that thing was unstoppable. Unstoppable. Dwight Howard's hook was not unstoppable because he wasn't really as efficient. And he had nothing else to go to. Jabbar had other stuff to go to. Jabbar was a rim runner. Jabbar did play around the basket with the weak hand. Not only did he have the hook with the right hand, he also had it with the left hand too. And Jabbar could knock down a mid-post shot. He could do that. The fact that Dwight Howard didn't develop these things could attest to the fact that he didn't, he wasn't as good offensively as he could have been. Yo, I'm so not I, arguing I wanna, with that, with you chill. But go ahead, Ron. Go ahead. I want to bring things back a little bit. Mm -hmm. I still want to talk about Dwight, but this all stems around Dwight's comments that he made. Well, regarding Jokic, when he basically said that Jokic can't mess with him and he he would get over on Jokic if they were to play. So I, I, I want to ask two questions. And, and Morris, 
<laughs> you know, you know, I'm coming to you first. First off, I want to know what you think Dwight would do in this NBA right now. And then secondly, um, in this NBA, what does he do compared to Jokic? Is he able to get the best of him? Um, he's the fourth best center in the league in today's game. Um, Jokic, Jokic, Embiid, Anthony Davis, Dwight Howard, he'd be fourth. Um, one-on-one, -on -one, I think he'd be okay with Jokic in a five-on-five -five team sport, which the NBA is. No, he, he'd get obliterated. Um, he'd be playing out much higher than he would like to. He wasn't great in the pick and roll. He predominantly played drop. Drop against the two-man game of Jamal Murray and Jokic is a death sentence, so we'd have to step up. Then you're giving up Jokic in the short roll, the playmaking, blah, blah, blah. He'll get cooked. But um, his rim protection would be the best in the league, probably. Um, yeah, it would be better than guys like Anthony Davis and Rudy Gobert and stuff, Brooke Lopez, just due to his athleticism, his ability to reach shots that most people can't. But I think today, with the necessity of versatility defensively, and Dwight really wasn't a great perimeter defender. Um, fundamentally, he wasn't great. He was just very jumpy, um, didn't move his feet exceptionally well, like a guy like Anthony Davis or Bam Adebayo. So when teams do bring him out the paint, he wouldn't be as valuable, which is the same reason we see you guys like Rudy Gobert struggle in the playoffs. Teams would do the same thing against Dwight. Now, he'd have to buy into being a pick-and-roll player and not on offense, and whether or not he would, I don't know, but he'd have to do that because, unfortunately, Dwight Howard post-ups in today's NBA would not be a thing because he wasn't great at them back then. And now with how efficient offenses are around the league, getting maybe one point per possession on a Dwight Howard post-up is not going to cut it. So he'd have to buy into being a lob threat, playing the dunker sport, playing the pick and roll and use his athleticism. And I think if he did that, he'd be great. Now, the free throw shooting would maybe make him a bit of a detriment late in games because he was shooting, what, 55 56% from the line. And that's how that's the reason he didn't average 26, to be honest, because he wasn't a good three for free throw shooter. If he was like 75%, he probably averages 25 a game for like eight years. He just couldn't make free throws. But hold on, but that, that logic doesn't work because Shaq did it. And what did Shaq average from the free throw line? And then let me ask you this. Dwight Mark, is not Dwight is not Shaq. Dwight, 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 Dwight is not no, no, Shaq. Well, I'm gonna ask you, no, 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 I'm saying no, no, but he could have been, he could have been a dominant as Shaq was as athletic and as strong as he was. He could have been as dominant. He just didn't have a hard Shaq head. Well, no. let me say this to you, right? You, you can't, yes, you can't he just was be big, you can't strong, just be Hold on. Let me hold on. He came into the league. Hold on. Him and Shaq came into the league damn near the same size. Shaq was just a little bit taller. But they came in the same. Remember, Shaq didn't come into Shaq the league like you're looking in LA. No, no, I'm you're not listening. I'm talking about all those years Shaq was averaging 26, 27 in Orlando. Shaq was damn near the same size Dwight was in Orlando. These are facts. So don't don't we're not gonna we're not gonna Shaq, lie about Shaq, that. Shaq, but Shaq I, I wanted to ask Mars. Agility. Hold on, I wanted Mars. I wanted okay. to challenge you on one thing you said. Mm -hmm. I listen, you said he'd be the fourth best. Now y'all gonna kill me on this because we y'all now we look. I want y'all to think about this now. We looking on one end defense. I'm with you. I'm gonna repeat myself because I know they are gonna take what I say and say and twist it, Ron. On defense, I agree with you on this. Would he have been better than Carl Anthony Towns is today? The same. Hold on. The same Carl Anthony Towns has averaged for the last six years in the league. He's averaged twenty five point one and 12 12.3 rebounds 21.3 and 12.3 rebounds 24.4 and 12.4 rebounds 26.5 and 10.8 rebounds 24.8 and 10.6 rebounds 24.6 and 9.8 rebounds and then this past season when he was hurt and came off an do, injury do you mean on offense because you said on no, defense no, no, you I'm mean saying, on offense no 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 i'm listening to what i'm saying you see this today. Hold on, hold on. Listen to his word. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on Bob. This is, listen this is to listen to his word. I, I want you hold on. I want you to hear his word. He said in today's, he said in today's school. NBA, because think about this now. Jokic is nowhere near the level Dwight was defensively. Mm -hmm. But Dwight isn't nowhere near the level Jokic is offensively. But everybody ranks Jokic over Dwight because of his offense in this era. So all I'm saying is, is do y'all hold the same narrative for uh Cat, who not only could post up but could hit the three, and there's many. That's that's all I'm asking you, uh, Mars. Go ahead, and then Dom, you can answer um, too. No, because Cat is uh, so much worse than Jokic offensively that he wouldn't get that argument, and he's also so much worse than Jokic defensively. He's probably the worst starting big man defensively. Hold in on, the, the same. Hold on, the same cat that's that 52 percent from the field and 40 percent from the three fourths career. That cat, yeah, he's so much worse than Jokic offensively. Okay, okay, he okay. He yeah, it's that um, yeah, you see, see what I'm talking about, chill. Now, Cat shoot 52 from the field for his career. 40 from the three on offense. But this fool went, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yo, 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 Jokic clears some just, offense. Wait, wait, wait. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is Cat is better than Shaq offensively, Ticket? 
No, I'm not saying he is. I'm listening to so what you said. You know the percentages. Hey, hold on. You, Ron, asked you, Ron asked you a question. Ron said in today's NBA. Yes. Today. Yeah. So I ain't talking about, I'm not grading you off. And I outlined you. every reason why Dwight would be fourth and Cap wasn't part of the equation because of how egregious okay. he is defensively. Right, cool. And no, offensively, no problem, no he's problem. not Jokic to make that gap. He's just not. And in the playoffs, I mean, he's egregious too. So we can bring that up as well. I just, but, I, yeah. I, I just want to point out because again, I'm just, I, I don't like when people just lie and just think it's fact. Um, Shaq came into the league out of college, 7'1", 285. Dwight came out of high school, 6'10", 245, 250. They were not the same size coming into the NBA. They weren't. Bro. They bro. No, 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 I, no, 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 no. You can ticket, put the, no, ticket, I'm talking ticket, about, ticket, stop. I said in Orlando. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You're right, hold on, you're right. Hold on, hold on. 7125. But when Dwight, hold on. Let me refer to what I'm saying. By Dwight's third year in the league, by third year in the league, him and Shaq were the same size when they was in Orlando. Go look at, go look at Dwight. And go look at Shaq. The only thing Shaq was was taller. Don't get it twisted. Go look at Dwight by his third year in the league. His body completely so, transformed. So wait, 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 oh, wait. So wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can even, you can so even look at Shaq. Years, wait, 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 wait. So four years into Dwight Ron, pull up career, the pick, Ron. he was the same size as rookie year Shaq? Because four years in a Shaq career. I'm saying rookie year Shaq. I'm saying, no, no. I'm saying Shaq, Shaq four years in. No, I'm saying Shaq Dwight, four years in the league. Dwight Orlando. Howard, four years in his career, was not the same size as Put up the Shaq picture. four oh, years in his Put up the picture career. on the he screen. Wasn't. If I'm lying, he I'm flying. He was Put up the picture on the screen, Ron. If I'm lying, I'm flying. Four years. Shaq's four four year four Shaq, year four Shaq four Shaq year is not Shaq's fourth year in the league. And, 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 and Dwight's fourth year in the league. Put up their pictures. Yeah, 0809 Dwight is not the same size as 96 Shaq. He's not. No, you're not hearing me. I'm saying to you, listen to what I'm saying. I'm not talking about height. I'm talking about the way their no, bodies we, were. We, we're just talking about how they filled out. We ain't talking. We already know the defense. Dwight, 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 Dwight was like muscular and like right. built, but he wasn't Shaq. He just wasn't. No, like, you're not and, hearing me. And, I'm and saying how it played. How it how it, play, how it played at how it played at about two sixty five. Yeah, Shaq played at in in in, in Orlando. Shaq played at about two eighty five, two ninety, and it was Diesel. There's a reason why his name was Shaq Diesel. There was a reason for that. That's number one. Number two, Ron, to answer your question, when you're talking about today's game, the big man has to be a little bit more versatile. I don't care about you at the five spot shooting the long ball. That's the thing that big guys got tricked into doing. But the fact that Dwight Howard doesn't shoot the basketball in the mid post and in the mid range, that's where he's going to have a huge problem because you have to be able to pull that big guy away from the basket and expose him defensively. And he can't do that. His game is primarily on the box. The fact that he doesn't want to play in the pick and roll, as wide open as the game is, that's going to be a problem for him too. For him not to be able to pick and pop like Joker. For him not to be able to pick and pop like guys like Carl Anthony Towns or MB. That's also going to be a problem. Defensively, we are not having a conversation because I think he clears the majority of these guys. I have an issue. I, I, I don't think I don't think the, the gap is as far as people think it is between him and Bam. And the reason why is because, I mean, Bam defensively, I don't think Bam is as good, but offensively, I think he's much better because he's a, he's a better passer. He got a better mid-range game. He's even better on the box than Dwight Howard, to be honest with you. So with that being said, I think Dwight Howard would struggle because those aspects of his game offensively that he doesn't have would be a problem for his team and him. Most coaches wouldn't play him like that as a center. They wouldn't feature him without a post game like that. If you ain't got a post game like Embiid, like Jokic, or one of them cats, they're not featuring you in this era. They're not. If you're How a Dwight, a rim runner, and, and, a, and a huh? How many minutes does Rudy Gobert average in the NBA? In no, this I'm NBA, saying they don't like, feature you. I'm saying no, no. I'm saying no, no. I'm saying they don't. They yeah, wouldn't feature like you. Thirty something minutes a game. Yeah, I'm something saying like they that. don't feature. They don't feature Rudy Gobert. They don't even look to give him the ball. So what I'm saying he gets scrap he buckets. Plays. That's what. He, no, no, you're not hearing me. I'm saying, I'm he's what I'm saying. They would have he would have been relegated to something like that without a post game in this era, or without a uh, without a real uh, uh, mid range game like what Chilltown was talking about. That's fact. They make you irrelevant now in the game if you ain't got that type of game. You a big man, you can't shoot a 15 footer, bro. That's what that's what make that's why that's Mars hate Julius Randle, but that's what keep Julius relevant. He's able to hit the mid range. He's able to hit the three ball. So that keeps Julius Randle honest in this league. If he wasn't Julius Randle, he wouldn't even be. Bro, he, this, this nigga making all-star teams because of that. 
Yo, the White's <laughs> much better. The White's much better on the offensive end of the court than, than Rudy Gobert. I can't believe you just. I can't believe you. Thank you. Compared. Nobody said compared. that. Come on. I, you hold just, on. I'm just. You just brought up Rudy Gobert. I brought up. No, 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 no. Ox, 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 Ox. I brought up Rudy Gobert for the simple fact. If we're talking about what? No, 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 no. The reason. No, no, no. The reason I brought him up is because if we're having a conversation about what Dwight Howard would be in this NBA, and we're saying because of his lack of offense, um, he's going to be relegated to a lesser role. X, Y, Z. No, he would just be a Yo. premier defensive guy, and they would, and he would literally get scrap buckets. Yo, Rudy what's, Gobert what's has up, one of the. Are, are y'all, are y'all, forgetting, are y'all forgetting Dwight? Dwight has. A, oh no, he wasn't out there shooting seventeen footers and three pointers, but around the rim, Dwight was was cold down there. I don't think it's I, works, big ox. Yeah, that he, works. He had, most had, most had, dunks, man. That though, big ox. Most not, dunks in not, NBA not, history. Not, Number not, one not, all time. He was knocking down that little bank shot. Dwight was getting busy down there. On top of that. His physicality in uh, 09, 2010, 2011, in this NBA, he's dominating on the block. He's dominating. Guys like Joel, guys like Joel and B, right? Who are physically gifted, but they, but they want right. to be guards and they want to shoot and they want to do all that type of shit. Dwight Howard wasn't doing that. Dwight Howard right. was abusing cast on the block, and he, yes, was, he was far That's more than fact, that in this year. You don't yes, need you don't you don't need to shoot seventeen footers and shoot three pointers to be to to be able to play basketball. Dwight Howard, this NBA, Dwight, you do? Dwight, Dwight, Dwight Howard, no, no, you don't. Dwight, Dwight Howard would dominate this this NBA. Man, and no, this NBA to be, to be relevant, you have to. And this no, NBA you don't. No, you don't. We were we were we were calling Zion to talk ten players this year. What it is? What it is? Is they tricked y'all too? They tricked they tricked some of these big men and they tricked y'all too into thinking that. Dwight, Dwight, Dwight Howard is abusing cats on the block. No, he's, he's a beast, big ox. He's, that he's, part he's, of the he's gonna, he's gonna, he would start on every team except for yes, he would. Philly, except for Philly, because you know a Joel. They got he indeed. would start. He would start on every single team in the NBA except for Philly. And that's in that what? State. He starts and what? Wait, 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 are you guys crazy? Are you crazy? Listen to me. You know, me I'm saying he could play with Jokic. He could play with. Okay, so he moves over to the four. But the. But Big hold ox, on, hold on, up, time, up, out, time out, time out, time out. You guys just told me last week on Thursday or Friday that a player that can't play offense, don't care how big he is, how strong he is, how good defensively yep. he is, isn't going to get an opportunity. That's Don't why they had Edie. I didn't Ron, say you that. Ron, 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 you heard it, Ron. You heard when they said it, Ron. Now Dwight Howard, all of a sudden, who can't play offense, who's just a defensive guy, all of a sudden he's going to dominate the league. When you told me, when you told me a guy like that doesn't even get drafted, now he's going to dominate the league. Thank you. I don't know who told you. Hey, fluent, I don't know who told you that. You got to call that person out. Dwight isn't Zach Edie. I'm Thank sorry. You. Why, how no, he's not. No, no, no. I'm not saying. You're, no, you're, no, no, no. Yeah, he's not the same. He's not the same. But you no. said a guy who's not that that shouldn't can't be in the same conversation. You guys you said a guy who can't shoot, who only plays defense, who only does these other things. He 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 doesn't even get drafted. All now all of a sudden, Dwight, who can't shoot, who's really just there for defense and rebounding. Now he's a he's he's going to dominate the league. Now, big ops, yeah. understand that un, understand that that Dwight Howard on the box around the, uh, around the, the restricted area. Three to five feet. He was impossible. Like like Tone just said, he's he's all that includes Chamberlain, that includes Jabbar. No guy has dumped the basketball more than him. But in today's game, I don't care about the long ball. You do not have to stand behind the long ball line. You are a detriment to your unit if you're out there dribbling the basketball between your legs and shooting the long ball. But you have to be able to play in the mid post. In today's game, why, why, you, have to, be, you have to every you, season. You have to be able to play in the mid post. You have to be able to play in the mid range. You have to be able to pass the ball because, again, the way the action is. If you watch the Miami Heat, if you watch the Denver Nuggets when they run their offense through the big man, all of that action is predicated on big men getting these other guys the basketball, getting these other guys in pick and roll situations. Dwight Howard didn't do that, and because okay. Dwight Howard didn't do that, that's a detriment to his right. game. I could dig Clint that Capella chip, don't I, do I, none I, of that. Wait, I, I chill. Dig, I, 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 real, real, real quick, Damo. Real quick, Damo. Because I, I, I could dig everything you just said, Tertan. But I'm, I'm, I'm tired of the going back and forth and beating around the bush. Let's just get to the nitty gritty. Yes. Would you? Who, who you got? Who do you want? Who do you want in today's NBA? Do you want Dwight Howard or Joel Embiid? I want Embiid because Embiid in today's NBA, Embiid can do more. In today's NBA, and be can step out and hit the three. I'm talking about, but Bob, I'm with you, Bob. I'm with Bob, you, Bob. You know the real answer is it depends who's on the team. 
What you yeah, need? Bob, I'm, That's the truth. I'm with Bob. I'm, I'm, Bob, Bob. I'm, 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 I want you to understand one Philly. thing, Bob. I'm, I'm talking about Fort Philly. Fort Philly for this whole this whole. And I, I'm I'm not ignoring you, ticket. I hear what you're saying, and I, I can I'm, I'm not mad at that answer. I'm with you. Hold on, hold on, Bob. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Hold on. I'm with like. you. I wish the game was like that. But y'all, when Mar said that shit. Mar said in today, excuse me, Ron said into he asked Mars in today's NBA. I know, I'm that's talking why I'm about today. That, I'm talking about today. today I'm talking about right. Today. So I'm saying today's NBA is completely different than it was then. We ain't coming down going to the big man 20 times inside the post. Mars pulled up a stat the other day, and somebody came to me after the show and was like, damn, Mars said, yo, he's getting the fourth highest touches in the league. Uh uh uh, uh the boy from Phoenix. The motherfucker only getting three touches a game, 3.8. How, how, how do you keep how do you keep Dwight off the offensive glass? How you stop? How you stop the white as a lob threat? Not just not just no. The, 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 the way you stop the that's easy. The lob you shoot threes and the rebounds go over his head. That's, that's why yeah, he's white. So you know, so 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 why, why are you trying? Why are you trying to act like the white wasn't mobile? Like he couldn't move his feet. Like the white wasn't chasing down rebounds, chasing down blocks. Dwight he was, was. Dwight was well, on top of that. The white played for a three point shooting team last Dwight, time Dwight, I checked. Dwight he played with, he played like with he nothing but four, he nothing but shooters. Lewis. He played with I think, who I think, and them dudes was not shooting the long ball like they're shooting it today. It was too many of them shooting on that team. They shot one of the most in the league. JJ Reddick. No, 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 no. How many did they shoot compared to today's teams? Not compared to back then. Okay, five. Okay, six more threes again. But if we're sitting here, but if we're sitting here saying that, oh, to prevent him from getting offensive rebounds, oh, guys are just shooting threes. He got offensive rebounds playing with a three point shooting team. And if you're going to tell me 14 years ago that volume that they were shooting was just so so below what it is now that that's not even comparable, I'm gonna call cap. I don't think that the, 2000, I don't 2010 think, 2009 well, I mean, Dwight Howard is the best big in the league, bro. Today, today, totally disagree. No dumb shot. Nope. Run. No okay. jump shot. No, no jump shot. And can't hit free throws. Hold on, 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 hold Man, he ain't playing in today's era like he ain't the best one in today's era like that. Cause you yeah, gotta listen right now. You, know, you, you gotta be hold coach. on. You gotta. You just gotta coach. No, no, I'm saying no, no. You gotta be able. No, I'm saying, but you have. no shooting ass big man. Coach I didn't say coach. that. I'm telling you in today's that's, bro, that's exactly in today's era, Bob, the way they play offense, they I'm don't play it like they play. I'm talking about 2024. I know what I know what the day. They don't play time out. Hold on, hold on, Bob. No team plays. No team plays like that except for Philly. And, and Joe Ellis shoots a lot of three. Coach got a coach. Come Sticky, if you if you if you're just... blessed if you're blessed with the Dwight a 2010 Dwight Howard 2009 11 whatever if you're blessed to have that on your team then coach different. Let me just say Play let different. me just say there's no way we're about to sit here and say there's no way that a guy like Dwight that's playing like that the guy that Chilltown just sat there and described before we had the little tangent bro do y'all not realize Clint Capella starts in today's NBA. Can and you tell me what? It's not one of the best five men I'm in the not, game. I'm not. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, do stop. Chill, chill, do chill. I'm not arguing Clint Capella being one of the best five men in the game. What I am arguing is Clint Capella getting paid a lot of money, Clint Capella playing right. a lot of minutes, and Clint Capella right. starting in today's NBA. That is what I'm arguing. Rudy Gobert Don't. might not be seen as a top three center, but he's getting yeah. paid like one. He's getting minutes Correct. like one. So he's mm -hmm. playing in today's NBA. If you're effective, you will play. That's what I'm arguing. Now, I'm right. not going to sit here and say, oh, you're top three. Top, even though with Dwight, right. I still will argue he's top five. Regardless, right. I'll argue top five. But I'm fair. not saying every – all I'm saying is to say that these guys won't play today is wrong. They will play. Now, would they be so that – that, that's all I'm saying. I, I'm getting sick of hearing all. Here, he's difference. not going to play here's in today's it. NBA. Yes, he that, will that, play. That, will he be a star? Will he be an all-time great? That's different. But he's going to play. He's going to get money. That's not true. Let me ask you a question. Chill and fluent. Let me ask y'all a question. I'm talking about some as, as a head, hold on. As a head coach, as a, you guys know Dwight. As a head coach, fluent as a coach, in in this era, you coaching against Dwight. What are you making him do on defense? I'm dragging him away from the basket. Right now, now, basket. now, now, he is he is nowhere near the player he is defensively under the basket, away from the basket. So teams would have ways to try to make him irrelevant. Not only by doing that. But also, if you're doubling him in the post and making him get rid of the ball, outside of offensive rebounds, there's right. nothing else he's doing offensively that's helping your team. He ain't able all, to come all out. I'm, all I'm going to say is this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, fluent, hold on, fluent. 
He Hilltown Town just said this. Am I, am I lying to you? He doesn't want to play in the pick and roll, pick and pop. That eliminates 80% of how they play today. Even fast. Go up higher, ticket. On, go, go up higher. That's, that's, what we do. that's what we do with the big man. That's, that's, what, that's what the big man does. AD all the man They play a pick and roll, pick and pop, pick and pop all this. Pick and die. They do all that stuff. Well, I and he agree. doesn't want to do that. I believe what Bob said. I love playing the way Bob said play. But I'm saying he's saying playing in today's NBA when most teams is playing a different way and they pulling Dwight away from the basket, making them have to guard the perimeter and those elite three-point shooters that they got in the league now, now you having to get out on it. Guess what that does? That takes away from him being under the basket, being able to patrol and camp out in the paint, block shots, help block, help on uh, help side defense. Because now if I'm putting him directly in a pick and roll or pick and pop situation on defense, now guess what? The whole other side of the court is clear. He ain't, he ain't going to be able to recover if I got a dude on here on this pick and roll that can shoot the hell out the ball like a dang dollar or steph curry or or somebody else coming off that screen that's that's hitting those threes he's got to step up coach got coach got a coach ticket not to mention two tickets but domo answered sorry sorry one quick thing one quick thing thing. domo answered the question already when he said you took the best center you said it uh bob the best center in 09 and 010 and compared him to clint capella there's your answer right there there's I'm your not, answer I'm, right there. I'm not depending on the There's your right. answer right there. I don't, I don't, I don't, agree, I don't, I don't agree with hey, that. Hey, you got me there for one. Hey, you got I don't, me I don't, I don't agree with that. That's what I was talking about, man. Because, we, and, and again, like, Ticket, and Ticket just mentioned, like, what we can't leave out is we can't leave out, like, big guys take the ball off the glass and they going with it. So that's another aspect of his game defensively that he's got to deal with. He's got to deal with Joel and B taking the ball off the backboard. He's got to deal with Cat taking the ball off the backboard. AD. He's got to deal with Joel Embiid. I'm not not Joel Embiid. I'm sorry. He's dealing with um, Bam Adebayo, AD. He's got to deal with these dudes. So he's got to play even better transition defense. And he can't just run rim to rim like he did 10 years ago where he could just camp out in the paint. Nah, because AD is stopping and popping at the free throw line. Joel Embiid is going to shoot Dwight, the long Dwight ball. Joel move, Embiid Dwight is going to shoot move, in the mid Dwight, 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 Dwight can move with Joel and AD. Yeah. And he can one hundred percent. He can do one hundred percent. He can do that. But this is another aspect of the game that's going to be a problem for him. Maybe not he's, so he's much cat, but the mother cats he can run with them. The, and 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 that that's the other problem with him. The fact that he's such a rim runner, running but defensively, he runs from rim to rim. That's what he does. So now I got a guy in cat. I got a guy in Bam who he's taking the ball off the backboard and he's going with it. That means the pickup point for him got to be sooner. Dwight Howard can't just run to the rim and camp out in the paint with Bam bringing the basketball up because he'll pop that 16 footer. He'll pop that 14 footer. Joker will crack but that. Why, why, why are you underrating Joker Dwight's mobility, ball. though? Why are you underrating Dwight's mobility? I'm not. Mobility? That part I'm not. This is, it, it, it has nothing to do with his mobility more than it is his mentality. You got to remember, we're talking about a guy who was honed to play like Shaq, like Olajuwon, like David Robinson. These how these dudes played back then. They was rim runners from Chill. end to end. And they do, went do you, right to the paint. Do you think Dwight had any to trouble protect the basket? Did Dwight well, have uh, any trouble uh, with Jokic in 2020? That's what I was about to get to. Because 2020 okay, was just a couple uh, years uh, ago, and he was what uh, in year what 15? And, and I'm glad you brought 15? that up. So, so, so the fact that he didn't have a, he didn't have any trouble with him. Let's not make it sound like he completely shut Jokic. He only played 16 minutes a game. I wouldn't do that. That's number one. That. It wasn't like Dwight Howard was out there for the entire time, and he had Anthony Davis behind him, and he had and. And he also had McGee with him too, so it wasn't like it was just it was a one-on-one situation where it was just him and it was just him and Joker. And we also talking about a well, younger we, Joker. We, we'll have that. We'll have that same situation today. We are talking about five-on-five basketball, so he can he, right. he'll, he'll still have other teammates with him, just like he did in 2020. And I'm talking about 2009 Dwight, 2010 Dwight. So imagine, the best imagine, imagine 2010, 2010 Dwight in 2020 in that series. And my thing is, I'm not just talking about just Jokic, Jokic specifically. I'm talking about just in general. Dwight looked good that year. He looked good throughout that playoff run. It wasn't just one one moment. Dwight played solid. Yeah, yeah, Chilltown. His his minutes were diminished. He didn't play all. He didn't play 35 minutes a game. He wasn't the focal point of the offense. Wasn't necessarily even the focal point of the defense. But he looked good at that stage of his career. So if you rewind the clock back and catch him in his prime. I don't. I, you can only assume that he does better, and I assume that he's going to do much better. Fair. That is yeah. fair. And we talk- somebody, somebody in the chat just made a great point. As he said, well, um, what do you say about the Brown? Brown got that ring. Are they so they won based on how Dwight played with Jokic in 2020. But we talk about well, he had AD with him. But what about what Jokic just did to AD this year? So was it was it was it AD or was it Dwight? 
I think it was a mixture of a, a, a plethora of bigs that the Lakers had at the time. Because like we just said, Dwight was only playing 16, 17 minutes a game. So it was JaVel McGee as well. It was the combination of both of those guys with AD. What we seen this year was it was AD by himself. He didn't even have another big man to play like receiver or to play off of like he did in 2020. So I can't sit there. And, hey, I, who was sitting here screaming the whole playoffs? But – um. And I, Jokic is better. I can't say. Is better I can't now say. Than what you go. Yeah, Jokic yeah, is way better, better now. Jokic is so way much better more now. advanced today than what, he, than what he was when when they was in the bubble in, in in 2020. That it's not even. I don't think that those two players. He's gotten. He's gotten himself in much better shape. His jump shot has improved. His rebound has improved. His overall game is improved. And, and, like and that team is better. And that team is better. I've asked, that, I've asked this question a couple times, Showtime. And I don't think I've ever got a sufficient answer. What? Who was closer? What? Which gap was bigger? The white in 2020 or the white in 2010, or the gap, or the gap between Jokic in 2020 and Jokic now. I did the white Howard in two, the, the 2009 2010 Dwight as opposed to 2020 Dwight. These dudes are like this, right? Same logic with Joker and Joker in 2020 in the bubble and Joker today. That gap is like this. Those two yeah, dudes aren't that much better. So, so that so that gap, that gap is gap way is better. Different. Way better. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, saying, I'm I'm saying looking, that because it's scary because Jokic back then was the truth too. Right, he was, but his yeah. IQ was improved. His ability to pass is improved. The I'm fact that Jamal, I, he's enhanced Jamal Murray's game. He's enhanced KP. He's, in, he's enhanced KP's game. Michael Porter Jr., he's enhanced all of these dudes' game. The fact that they run that offense through him, Dwight was a monster. I personally think that he had a legit argument in 2011. The year that Derrick Rose won the league MVP, I think Dwight Howard had a legit argument to be the league MVP that year, and that was just that that, that was just how I felt about it. But when I think the the, the gap that the, the problem that I'm having is Dwight Howard offensively in today's game as a scorer, the fact that he does not want to play in pick and roll, the fact that he does not want to play in pick and dive, that's why Clint Capella is what he is. Because Clint Capella, being the rim runner that he is, Clint Capella, being the pick and dive guy that he is, that's his game. Dwight Howard, we completely taking that off the table because he doesn't want to play like that. And because he doesn't want to play like that, which is the game today, that makes him inefficient in a lot of ways offensively because now we can't really go to him like we want to. And if we're going to eliminate him offensively and he's just going to be basically a defensive, he's just going to be a defensive force, that's not going to be enough in today's game the way guys score, the way big men score. Fellas, a couple questions. And Floyd, I want to ask you first. Uh, so you fast forward. I guess we could just clash them. Today's Nuggets versus that to, today's Nuggets versus the the 20, 2020 Lakers. What does today's Jokic do against that front line of JaVale, Dwight, and AD? Mm. He's he, he does yeah, I was gonna say he does the same thing that he did to AD this year, mm -hmm. except he's gonna do it to three different people, right? He's gonna play <laughs> each one of them. He is so smart now that he's going to play each one of them to their weakness. And that is something that I don't know that he, not that he wasn't good enough to do it in 2020, but I just think he didn't. Whereas now he's going to see JaVel McGee and be like, okay, here's where I can pick him apart. Uh, Dwight Howard throws a different look at me. This is how I'm going to pick him apart. I think his IQ and his ability to read what his defenders are doing is, is exponentially better than it was in 2020. So I think he, just, he still picks them apart. Uh, I just, I, I, yeah. I just think he, I just think he's so much better today than what he was in 2020 because he sees the game a lot different. And the fact that Jamal Murray has improved, the fact that these other guys have improved, that has enhanced his game because now these are other threats that have to be accounted for. So if he's dealing with, if he's dealing with JaVale McGee on the perimeter, who's a, a ridiculous athlete. Well, Joker is going to play him differently. Joker is not going to Joker is not going to out quick him. Joker is not going to out physical him. Joker is going to outthink him. I'm going to bring Ant I'm going to bring I'm going to bring Javel McGee away from the basket. I can shot fake him because he's a reactionary defender. That's who that that's who Javel McGee is. Dwight Howard, he's more of a rim protector. He doesn't really play that much on the defensive end. However, I'm not on the defensive end, on the perimeter. However, Dwight Howard's ability to recover really helped him. So when you're talking about a guy in Joker, how much better he is today than what he was in 2020, I think it's substantially better. Was that the buzzer that his time was up? What was that? Yes, <laughs> that leads me to my next question, too, though. Yeah, crazy. Because, because when I think about that Lakers team and Bob had brought it, or we've been talking about Dwight, 
Uh, Bobby brought up Rondo. Then I'm thinking Braun, AD, all of these guys. They 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 obviously had a a, a good assortment <clears> of <throat> talent, but everybody's trajectory wasn't the same. Some dudes were older, some dudes were younger. But right. I want to know in their prime, what does that team look like? Ooh, Rondo man. is prime. AD at his best. Braun at his best. <clears throat> White at his best. What what does that team look like? Ron, I'll go ahead and say it for everybody. That's one of the best teams we've ever seen. It's all right. It's all right. That Lakers team that won the chip, if all them dudes in their prime? All them in their prime? Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, they went in damn near. They went in damn near. 60, 59, 70. If, they went in damn near 70 something. If, oh, if, if, they play, if they play 82 games, if they play 82 games, they probably win damn near 75, 78 of them. Miles, I'm going to go with – I'm going to – Miles, I'm going to give you 2012, Rondo. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you 2020 Anthony ever. Davis. I'm gonna give you <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you 2013 James. Um, who else is on that unit? Rondo, Dwight. Anthony oh, Davis. Oh, oh, nine, and, 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 and I'm gonna Dwight. give you 2000. I'm gonna give you 2009, 2010 Dwight Howard. You think they're just all right? That's about two, whatever, there's whatever about two or threes a game being made. made. There's about two or threes a game. Oh, oh, let's not forget. Yeah, let's man, not forget. Man, man. I'm gonna say let's not forget like a 20 a, a 2013 2014 Danny Green. Let's prime not J. also forget Smith. um I mean, yeah prime Oh Jay yeah crazy. Danny Green shooting shooting threes prime like crazy. hey hey prime Javel McGee as well on the glass oh. crazy oh man yeah. we're talking about like a 20 he be shacking like, a fool baby where you where, where, <laughs> Moss, where do you <laughs> the difference Moss, where, do you, where, where do you only see the long ball being shot at two or three a game because trans because because as, as far as the transition team they would be impossible. Because you got glass cleaners in both Dwight Howard and rim protectors in both Dwight Howard and Anthony Davis. So we speeding up and the JaVale game. McGee. And JaVel McGee. So we speeding up the game, right? You got stop and pop guys in Danny Green and J.R. Smith who can shoot the long ball, right? Don't forget, you got do, 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 does that team get Dion Waiters? Yes or no? Yeah. They get them, get them Dion Waiters too. Prime they, got, they, got, they, got, they got KCP, Philly Kyle Chief. Kuzma. Ankle um, Mater. I think, I think Jared Dudley was on that team. They give them one of them. Jared Dudley was on that team. Oh, you got Jared Dudley too. Yeah, you you getting t- you getting enough threes, man. A prime Alex three. Caruso. Wait, wait, wait. Mm, prime Alex Jared Caruso. Dudley. It's a wrap. Yeah. Oh yeah, we should. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. But it, like like I said, they, they, they were right. Too. They were right. You hey, don't forget they had cools. Yeah, I can't believe really y'all got me up here hyping a hypothetical Lakers team. But I'm off this. I can't. I can't do this no more. <laughs> Just do what I do. They're they're an okay team. They're an all right team. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't do this. Man. Y'all got me bigging up the Lakers right now. They, they might be. A, they might, they might be a top six seed. I'll give them that. Danny Green, J.R. Smith, and Dion Alone are putting up enough threes to compensate. They all play one position. This is one spot. Ah, bah, 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 bah. You got one star. Yeah, one but they're going to be winning. How you play? How you play? Danny Green, Howard, Mars, Anthony Mars, Davis, Mars, LeBron, Mars, and Rondo. Cause, Come on, Mars, because you're forgetting they're going to be up 20 points at half, and those guys are just going to come out and jack up threes in the third quarter and mm. be up 30. And the bench is going to get run. They're all right. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, they cool. I, I got, oh, I got, I got the Phoenix Suns beating them in a six game series. Which Phoenix <laughs> Suns? This, this Phoenix Suns? <laughs> this Phoenix Suns, yeah. So with just the younger yeah, KD. Yeah, with Bradley Beal as nope. their point guard. We need to be back, KD. Just this KD, this DeAndre oh, Ayton, okay. this Bradley Beal, this America. Six games. Oh my God. Yeah. And speaking of the Suns, you see that they're the title of the show. We'll get into them and yeah, their the latest game. edition at the center position. But um, uh-oh, there game. he is. There he is. Yes, sir. Matt yes, sir. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What up, y'all? What up, Jay Rob? Hey, what up? How, how y'all doing? Y'all kings good today? Yes. Hey, Rob in the house. Great. Feeling great. You got a, hey, you got a, vo- you got a voice that, that needs to be for sale, bro. Your voice needs to be a voiceover <laughs> for that Lego cartoon. Anything, bro. You heard me? <laughs> oh, that's that's crazy that you said. I just narrated something for PC literally maybe like, what was that, Ron? Like two, three weeks ago? What was yeah. that? Bro, that's crazy that you said that to you. A few people don't said that to me. Maybe I should put my shit up for And I'm putting know. it out there. And, and, and I'm putting it out there. J Rob, I know for a fact that you know where them big booty chicks is at. So stop with the nonsense, yo. I know you know where they at. Chill. So cut it out. J-Rob. Chill, you got I to know chill. you know. Chill, you where have <laughs> chill. You have got to chill. I know you know where they at. So <laughs> knock it off. You're about yo, to say, I'm jealous. Yo, yeah, you, yeah, have to to chill. Chill. you have man. to chill. You have to chill. You have to chill. Look, I'm more of a I'm more of a point guard, you know. I like I like to throw oops to the homies, you know. I'm like I'm one of those type of guys. W you know? save J Rob. W save. Yeah. W save. <laughs> oh, chill, chill, chill. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hold you to that. But uh, let's go ahead and get to these super chats, though. We we, we got a few. I want to see what the people talking about today. 
but let's go ahead and start from the top super chat from Drade goat said ticket if you put mj on that 2018 Cavs team who they win the chip you guys love to start lebron mj conversations oh my God. of course of course yes. bro of course you like to start the conversation you know what you're not about to get you're not about to sucker me in <laughs> <laughs> but everyone knows the Cavs win the chip that's what it is Damo. Of, 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 that's that's what it is Damo. Of, of course people like to start the conversation that's, that's all. You don't, wait, you don't you don't think MJ can beat that Warriors team? In 2018? Mm -hmm. The team that just went team? the team that went this, seven games with James Harden. You don't think MJ can beat them? The 72 and 10 team couldn't beat the Warriors. So no, I don't think him oh on the God, okay. him on that what? Cavaliers team. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, Dumas no, just hating no. right now. What no one's that? just hating. No one's just Dumas, hating. You're no cooked, just hating. buddy. You're cooked, buddy. <laughs> I guess, I guess, I guess. Hey, you heard my hot take. You remember the debates. You heard my hot take. Mm. I, think, I think you're better Terrible than that, Domo. Takes. No, you're better than that, Domo. Speaking, Where's the producer? Where's takes. the producer to ice him out for that terrible take? Kick him speaking from the terrible studio. takes. We, we, we will be bringing back the terrible take, or we will be starting the terrible take segment this Friday. Yeah, terrible we're going takes. Going Wait, what you mean by that, bro? <laughs> I, I, guess, I guess I wouldn't be on that show since I've never uh, done terrible hey. take. Uh, troll bitch. Troll marble. That's what you mean by that, big ops. Troll marble. Troll Wait, wait. So, oh, what, yeah, what are you saying? Y'all went, went back. Y'all went back and clipped all the bad takes. We just got things in the archives. Oh, that's cool. Man. Don't, just, hey, don't, 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 I don't do these fellas like Damn, that. We're about man. to have to rehash Zion. I know, I, 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 I know for a fact I've said some. I know for a fact I've said some things where I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. I people, people, people send me, people send me takes I made a year ago, and I'm like, I don't even agree with that anymore. But here's what it is. I'm hey, how much, how, much, how, much up, you, how much you pay? How much you pay fluent for them to not to not pull up any of your old bad takes? All my takes are good. What are you talking about? I'm <laughs> hey, hey, Ron. Hey, I wanted to ask Jay Rod. Are we gonna talk about the elephant in the room? What's the elephant in the room? About, what? Are we are we gonna talk about the new gimmick that's going on today? All of a sudden, these hoes gonna put. Bradley Beal at the point guard, a dude who hadn't played point guard his whole career, and now we just gonna KD and them just inventing shit, man. I just said that. This right. gonna, this right. gonna, this I just gonna said blow up in their face, ago. bro. Now this it's goes the, back to what I was saying about eight. This, this goes back I to what I don't want to hear about that. I don't want to hear about that. You don't take a dude that ain't played the point his whole career. Now all of a sudden in year what uh, thirteen? Like yeah, year. Bradley, we gonna we gonna you come in here and we are gonna put you on the point, man. So now all of a sudden a dude that's been scoring his whole life. Now he got to be a place setter and yeah. still find a way to get his. And now you know Aiden ain't going to be happy now because now listen, you've eliminated listen, listen, listen. and you got rid of your backup point guard, listen, which listen, inclines listen, me to think listen, that they're going to go sign time the showtime, Listen, listen. The Showtime Lakers played with two point Don't guards. Listen, played with two point guards. The Warriors uh, played with no point guard. So I, it, it's not a big deal. It's, it's not a big deal. It is. A, hold on. It is a big deal with this team because on this team, you kind of need a distributor. Because of right. the situation that's volatile with Aiden. See, you need a guy who understands time and scoring. Time, see, Rondo in his prime would have been perfect for a team like this. But y'all ain't going to understand until they should go up. Me and Ron, me and Ron, me and Ron literally was talking about Rondo going to the Suns. We were like, yo, me and Ron was literally like, yo, maybe the Suns should hit up Rondo for a vet minimum just for him to go to the Suns. Because I think what he would bring to that team oh, they, would be great. Get John Wall. But, hey, listen, but can he guard? Hey, but my question is, can he guard? Can he guard? No, they're going to get John Wall. They're they going to get John Wall. Because no one else on that team can guard. So you know what? Phoenix, hit me up. I can still distribute. <laughs> Look, they're going to get John yeah. Wall. And to me, to me, you should have. they should have just went. Like I said, the whole Bradley Beal move was wrong, bro. Just a bad move, bro. They ain't got no space for him. I mean, it's new owner. Isn't his agent? Isn't his agent like brothers with the GM or something? Like, yeah, no, his, you know, no, no, no. His oh, his, agent, his, his, his agent, agent his agent is the dad of the GM. His son, his son, oh, you, his agent's son, his agent's son is the president at the Phoenix. There, Bears. there, there you go. His agent's son <laughs> is the president Wait, of the Suns. What? It's all yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, the good, the good the good one. Is that not? No, I didn't know. Is that not tampering? What? The hell? You, did not, you didn't know that? I mean, I ain't gonna lie. No. I ain't gonna lie. Jalen Brunson's dad works for the Knicks. It, hey, it but this is, is a KD science project. Brad, 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 Brad is my client. My father yeah. is the president of basketball operations with the Phoenix Suns. That's what that Why is. Why do you think he got traded for a bucket <laughs> ass? I'm not sure. But chill time. Why would you get rid of all your point guard? Why would you get rid of your last backup? Why would, like, unless you're, I heard they're going to probably go try and get John Wall. 
I don't know how y'all feel on John Wall right now. I like John Wall but, as a distributor. I'd rather have Beal as my point guard than John Wall. John Wall is so cooked. I think I, I'd, I'd, I'd rather have, have I want I'd rather John have a Wall as my point to. guard than John. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I'm not gonna be out. I'm not out on John Wall. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not out on John. What is John Wall? I got to go. What has John Wall shown you guys over the last two years? He hasn't played because he was in Houston, and that was two years ago. But but hold on, he was in Houston, and they pretty much said we're not gonna play you because one, we got these young players. When he was playing, he was cooked. He was cooked. I mean, I he seen, tore his Achilles. Yo, he, been might, hurt. Like, he might have he some juice, good. though. He might have some juice. Left he ain't going to no juice. He ain't going to no juice. Fellas, He's I'm going to go around the room, and I'm going to ask juiceless. everybody, what you feel He's about juiceless. Bill and John Wall? John Wall, I'm going to start with you. What do you feel about Bill at point guard, and what do you feel about John Wall at point guard? Um, well, first of all, I would love for them to bring in John Wall because, as Mars said, he's cooked. I haven't seen John Wall throw up a gang sign in two years, so I know he's done. Um, with In terms of Bradley Bill playing the point guard, I personally – I don't trust Bradley Beal playing the point guard at all. I think by trade deadline, they're going to actually realize Devin Booker should be running the point guard. If you're not going to go out and get nobody, I thought right. it would be Devin Booker at the point, Beal at the two. They'll realize that going forward. But if they want to test it out, I mean, hey, why not? I don't, hey, like I said, when the trade happened, all this to lose in the second round, regardless of who your point guard is, is fine with me. I just look, give me more reasons to have him, Kevin Durant, please. Fluent. Bradley Beal and John Waller point guard. How do you feel about either of those options? I think Bob Cousy is still alive. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we got his answer for both of those. Ox, John Wall, and Bradley oh, Beal. How do you feel about these? Yo, like what? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Um, I, hate, I hate to say this, but I think John Wall is done, man. That's my guy. I hate to say it, but I think he's over. I'm, I'm not mad at Bradley Bill at point guard. I don't think it really matters who was the point guard. Bradley Bill, Devin Booker, they'll be all right either way. I, Phoenix is six. There you have it. Uh, Mars, Bradley Bill, John Wall at point guard. What, well, how yeah. do you feel about either of those options? Well, yeah, John Wall is cooked. You don't want John Wall. John, John Wall is too cooked. Um, Bradley Bill, position is basketball. It'll be Bradley Bill, it'll be Devin Booker, it'll be KD. They will bring the ball up the floor. That will initiate offense in some capacity. Do I think they're gonna win? Probably not. But do I think it's gonna be because they don't have a traditional point guard? Also, probably not. Just don't get John Wall because he is cooked. No, that's my that's my stance. <laughs> Yo, Damo, you crazy. He hasn't shown up. He hasn't thrown up a gang sign in here. <laughs> yeah. I ain't seen him go behind his back. I ain't seen him throw up the set. I yeah. know he's done. I definitely haven't seen him throw up no bloods in a minute. It's been a while. I need to see that beer. I see that beer. How do you feel? I miss miss gangbanger John (laughs) Wall. Hey, the Rosen and Westbrook. Over the line. Go ahead, Chuck. Since since he told us, since he popped his Achilles, and I believe it was 2020, what has he shown you over the last four years to suggest that he could even play? Let's forget being a a lead guard on a championship unit. What has he shown you to suggest that he could even play? Nothing. He's good. Nothing. Nothing. I, I haven't seen. I haven't, nothing. See, I haven't seen anything. Wait, 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 he didn't get a fair chance. With, he didn't. You get know a fair what? Chance they might as well. They might as well sign Dwight Howard to play point. He didn't. Hold on. He didn't get a fair chance with the strippers. To, to be they fair, need to sign the facts. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, ticket. Thank the, you, stripper, ticket. the strippers ain't giving him a fair shot. I'm gonna be just be honest. Thank you. Thank you. The strippers did not give him a fair shot because when he played, he was cooked. He's no, no, no. They didn't give him a fair look. Play for the Buffalo Braves anyway. Stop it. Thank you. No, I'm saying, Thank but he you. they bought him over there like he was gonna be that guy. And then you know how Ty Lu get, you know, Ty Lu had him on the bench playing him limited, limit, limited, limited minutes and short little spurs. You can't really show nothing in that type of thing. Like I can understand hey, if he had an go. opportunity because and did he nothing. That's a, that's a good idea. He was cooked to practice. He watched things out. No, no, ticket. I can't blame him. Ticket just had oh, a good oh, idea. What you mean practice? No, they don't practice idea, in the NBA ticket. too much. No, listen, listen, listen. Once no, two practices they did. Once Ty Lu, hold on. Once Ty Lu gets fired from the Clippers, he can go be their point guard. No, they got Russell Westbrook. Uh, no, wait, Ty, Ty Lue's not going to uh, get fired. Ty Lue's going to yeah, walk say, away. I'll say, I'll say, I don't, I don't see, yeah, I'll say, I don't see Ty Lue getting fired. Yeah, he's not going to get fired. He's going to oh, walk he away. Quit. He didn't get, it. he didn't sign an extension, so he's just going to walk away and get another oh, job. Okay. But yeah, I don't like. I said, I, the point? I, I didn't give him a fair shot, man. I mean, 
Who did John Wall play for? He played for the. He didn't play bad with. Well, Mars gonna say that because he was with the Houston Rockets. He was the sorry ass Rockets. He's not about to say he was okay for us. No, 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 He was so no. He was so bad. He was not to play. He was so bad. Then he averaged twenty and ten with the Rockets. Run. He averaged twenty and seven. He averaged twenty and seven. It was like twenty and seven with the Rockets. This is why we can't just watch the box score. He was not good. He was cooked. He was cooked. There's a reason I, had him. I thought he had some burst. He didn't, he didn't look that bad to me. Yeah, hey, how, 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 how are you need Jay? Jay, how are you need feeling? I might I can get you a tryout. I think I think no. he played like, I think <laughs> I, I think that Houston that, that Houston no. John Wall before he went to the Clippers, I think he played like a pretty good backup point guard. I don't think he was I don't think he was starting John Wall uh level play, but I think he was you know, a guy that we can bring off the bench to play 18 minutes. Hold on, he 20, he was 20 and seven. That's star point guard. No, I, 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 mean, I, think, I, I don't I don't play basketball ticket. I don't play no, I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying? Look, people, what I'm saying, homie. I if do. you're 20 and seven on a bad team, <laughs> what is he doing with guys who can actually put the ball in the rack that he's kicking it out to? See what I'm saying? Yeah, he was I, playing. I, with, like, he was playing. Say, he was playing. He, he hold on. He's playing with dudes that's over there dry humping each other. So I, like I said before. For me personally, uh, for me personally, they make so dudes ain't hit no ticket. chats. That's not even Jalen Green wasn't even there. Ticket, like, ticket, ticket, wait a minute, just so you know, when he was, he was, there, in his, he was there in the spirit. Ticket, when he was, when he was, when, 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 when he was with the. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, what's going on, the one? One? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was good. Yeah, you, you, you can smell oh, the fingernail polish. Yeah, like I said, though, man. <laughs> stop playing, man. Uh, stop stop on, playing, bro. man. Y'all know what time it is, man. John Wall had seven assists over there, bro. Oh, you put bro. him with dudes who can hit shots. Y'all telling me y'all put him with Phoenix. We got y'all talking oh. about how prolific KD and them dudes is the scores. So if John Wall is penetrating and kicking it to them dudes, not saying he's out here trying to get be prime John Wall to get 20 and 10, but as a dude who can distribute the ball. And push the ball in transition and get guys going. He can't do that. If ticket, if, our walls, if, 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 hold on. Our walls, man, don't I, don't, I don't know the answer. If his, if I don't know the answer. Our wall and Beal cool. Our wall and Beal cool. Yeah, that's his move. Yeah, yeah, they cool. I think they cool. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's his man. Uh, I'm just making sure. I didn't know. I didn't know. Nah, but ticket. If, if his legs can hold up, hey, I'm guys, cool with them. So I'm cool hey, with them. Hey, guys, your baby don't look like you. I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't think he should be a starting point guard. You know, like play play starting minutes, but. If if his legs can hold up, I'm I'm cool. With you. Well, I, don't, I don't agree with you on that. I'm I'm at him around 20 it's minutes cold. a game. I agree, but I think yeah, I, I'm along the lines of what? I said 18 minutes. I said I'm just kidding, bro. I'm, I'm, just kidding. Of, I'm, I'm along kidding. the lines of Ron, though, bro. Beautiful, y'all man. saying beautiful, like he, man, y'all saying he was crashed. The last time he got an opportunity he was 20 and seven. So if I if I seen him get another four opportunity, four turnovers, man. He was I didn't say I didn't say he was trash, I didn't say he was trash. I just said I just said it might be over for him. John Wall, John, like yo, prom John Wall was one of my favorite point guards. You know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with John Wall probably minute, more than you. Hold on, big guy. I just, Why I just are we don't talking about John Wall? Wall? Hold up. Why are we talking about John Wall? Like he was not in training camp with the Los Angeles Clippers, and he was tagged to have to beat out Reggie Jackson for the lead guard spot, and he mm. couldn't beat out Reggie Jackson. Not only could he not, and then, beat out and then they Jackson. traded the same, him the same Reggie play. Jackson who couldn't play in the playoffs, by the way, for a championship level team. He lost to that guy. By That's the way. By the but way, he could not be out. He got, a, oh, oh, oh. he got one second. He got one second. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Took that. Took that three at the end. Of the I mean, hey, that's all Ty Lue fault. Yeah. Hey, chill, yeah, chill. That's Ty Lue fault, man. That's Ty Lue fault. I mean, I think, I think, I think John Wall could really he's, be like a backup point guard. I think y'all, y'all tripping a little bit. Look and take. I'm, I'm Jamar, we have seen that. He was in hold training on, camp on, with these hold dudes. On, hey. Hold on, hold on, Look, John Wall, J- Bradley Bill, J- Bradley Bill's going to be the starting point guard. Which actually, I got a bit of optimism about because with Bradley Bill as a point guard, I think the biggest thing that happened to him when John Wall left the Wizards, he was he didn't have as many like one dribble or catch and shoot situations that he had prior to John Wall leaving. I think with him being the point guard again, he'll be in a lot more catch and shoot situations where he'll be the third guy, third option in a in a play. I think he'll be good for his game. I really do. But I think with John Wall, you know, me and Ticket, you know, we've come here and talk about DeAndre Ayton. I think DeAndre Ayton's got a lot of flack. But Ticket was one of the only people up here to say, you know, DeAndre Ayton ain't motivated because he's not getting the ball. It gets tiring from just having to rim run and not see the rock. 
But if you get John Wall, you got somebody who actually thrown it to the post. John Wall's going to be the it difference might... in getting DeAndre Ayton involved in the offense? That's <laughs> what we're doing be. right now? It, I'm trying to give him a role. Like, I'm, I'm trying, trying to give him a role. He can run the pick and roll with John Wall. He can get. You can run them together. You know, obviously you take – you know, we got to do your rotations and stuff. You bring – take you let, you let Brad come out. You bring in John. You take out KD. So you can let – John Wall and Aiden do their thing a little bit. D book can stay in. You know, you got rotations. You just never know. I'm trying to have a little optimism of what they could be. I don't think John Wall at all is what he used to be. So I'm not about to sit here and lie and cape like John Wall's this old guy. But as just a facilitator, somebody who dump it to the post, play a little pick and roll with Aiden. Come on, I mean, why not? It's a second unit guy. It's a second how unit guy. About, I mean, let's be real. How about, how about y'all want? I think campaign. I really think campaign is better than John Wall. If you second unit guys, can we yes. at least get a guy? No, you don't, Damo. No, you don't, Damo. No, you don't. I give you a list. I live. I live in Arizona. I lived in Arizona. I lived in Arizona for two straight years. I watched campaign campaign play so much basketball over the last two years. There is not a big difference between John Wall and campaign. Come on, Chris Dunn. Chris Dunn. T.J. McConnell. Don't do that. Don't do that. Chris Dunn, don't do that. Don't, don't. Chris do Dunn. Chris Dunn. You're not the real KD. He's You're the nasty. real KD. You're nasty. You the got options. Nasty. You got nasty. options out here, man. You, You're I don't nasty. Like I like T.J. McConnell. T.J. McConnell's a dog. Chris Dunn? A big dog. Big dog. Oh, I love it. Rubio. Rather have that. Gordon 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 Rick, Gordon hey, Gordon Ricky Rubio Gordon. going back to Barcelona. I would have took him over. I like, I like, like Ricky Rubio. So I know, no, Ricky Rubio, I could have taken Ricky Rubio. I would definitely Ricky take going back to Barcelona? He's never healthy, Damo. He just is I would, never hurt. Listen, He's listen. just as hurt as John Wall. I would have went, I would have went back to last <laughs> year. I would have pulled up the NBA.com website. I don't want it to G League. I don't want the statistics. I would have wow. typed sort by assist and whatever guy popped up that played wow. point guard, I would have took him Jordan over. Jordan McLaughlin. Wow. See, Jordan I ain't gonna lie, Damo. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so disappointed in you, Damo, because you acting so unusual. You usually got way more sense than that. You're gonna tell Jordan me Jordan McLaughlin is generate a, one of the generate best a point guard and just go for it. Give me, that's give so, me, test so, yeah, give, give, give me Sharif Cooper. Yes. 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 Why not? Sharif Cooper. Give me Sharif Cooper. Come on, y'all. Hey, I'm against. I'm against. I like Sharif too. I like Sharif. Nice. Let's take his. You'll take his kill cover. I'm so proud of you. 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 Give me all the guys with mixtapes from the mid 2010s. Give me a kill car. Wow. Malik Newman. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, the I'm professor. Sorry. The professor is available. Wow. The professor is wow. available. Hey, wow. I'm taking. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking. Give me, Frank Nitty. Give me next, Frank Nitty. Give me Frank Nitty. Next, next thing you know, 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 next thing you know, next next thing you know, you're gonna be telling me go get. You're gonna tell me go get Hezzy God and Ken Wilder. Hey, give me Hezzy God. I will take. I will take Hood Kyrie over John Wall. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Hezzy God could not play in the NBA. There's a reason. Sabrina INS I don't know, man. Like I be bugging. John Wall is still in the league, man. I think Hezzy got got a shot. I think Hezzy got got a shot. I ain't gonna lie. Hezzy God could not play in the NBA. There's a reason why he does YouTube's and plays the big three. I just watched Hezzy God go. I just watched Hezzy God go on one on ones with Kyrie Irving and was giving Kyrie buckets. He can make it. I know Jason Williams lost his uh, podcast. He might be because he was able to score with somebody his size. Are you serious, Damo? Are you serious? Mm. Damo, Damo just trolled the hell out of you guys and got yeah, like, out of here. That's come crazy. On, come on. Oh, no, I'm still here. I'm still here. I can give you more names. I can give you more names. fellas, though. Fellas, fellas, fellas. Let's get off the point. Go get my guy Shabazz Napier. Get Shabazz Napier out of Europe. I'll get. I can deal with that. You oh, give me Jimmer for right death. Let's Jimmer for death. Hey, bro. Bro, move on, bro. Tomatoes, Damo, please put the tomatoes in the chat. Put the tomatoes in the chat. Please put the tomatoes in the chat. Tomatoes in the chat. Please put the tomatoes in the chat. Tomatoes in the chat. Please put the 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 tomatoes in the chat. Please what does Bobo mean for them? What does it's how mean? you know we're in the off season. I'm asking if Bobo is a needle me, bro. Like, damn. <laughs> but how, on this on this team on this team no more. I, mean, I don't think Bobo, Bobo was a great pickup for them. He can play point guard. Yeah, this is this is what happens when you have to do five days a week Ooh, in the off season. Ooh, I've, like, I've, never, I've never I've never I've never seen you in this type of troll mode. Troll mode. This is <laughs> this is this is different for me. <laughs>
I will I'm say, I will say. I only, got, I only got one minute left, and then yeah. I got to bounce. That's why. I actually, don't, to be honest with you, Ron, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind because because if you look at this Phoenix team, this is what's going to be one of the – that was the major issue with them last year, their rotation guys. So now you got guys like Wanta – I, I got to make Watanabe. sure I get his name Watanabe. right. Watanabe. 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 Who I do like. I like Watanabe. I like both. I, I like Bobo as a rotation guy. I like. I think that. I think that Frank Vogel is going to implement T.J. Warren a little bit more. I think he's going to get him to buy into being a defender. If he could stay healthy, I think he's going to do that. So when you look at their rotation, Bobo coming off the bench. Bobo's biggest problem was his motor when coming out of college. There wasn't a place for him when he was in Denver. There was no run for him when he was in Denver. The guys that he was playing behind, he was just not going to get any run. Now, he's in Orlando playing around those young guys. They could explore his act. They, they could get his game more involved in what they're doing. Now, he gets to Phoenix. He's not really playing behind anybody that's substantial in terms of a rotation guy. So he can take the ball off the backboard and go with it. He can shoot the mid-range. He can shoot the long ball, which is what Phoenix is. Now, what Phoenix is also going to be, Phoenix – Frank Vogel is going to try his best to get them to be a better team defensively. That's where Bo Bo comes in. He's going to have to be a better rim protector. He's going to have to be a better rebounder in order for him to get on the floor and stay on the floor. Otherwise, he's going to be a 10, 12 minute a game guy. All right. Well, I, I got I to gotta bounce, fellas, but good luck with a bench of Bo Bo, TJ Warren, and whoever the hell else they're throwing on that bench with Bjorn Craig, Watanabe. They got they got, some, they got some. They got some. They got some. I got some. I got some. I'm not. I'm not right, mad at what, up, I'm not mad. So right, Mezzi Metsu will be right, ahead so. of Bobo in the rotation. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not mad at what they put together over there in in Phoenix as far as their bench players. Like y'all, y'all didn't mention yeah. uh, Kade Bates. Um, Dia, I'm, I like him off he, the he's bench. Ahead of Eric Bobo Gordon. Um, Eric, Eric Gordon. I, I like. I like what they're doing over there in Phoenix. Like Chemezi. I think Bo Bo can I play like you too. Bo like Bo Bo can Bo can play 15 to 18 minutes, bro. That's that's good minutes for me, Wait, can I ask you a question? The fact that they got Utah and Bobo mm -hmm. now, do you, do you think realistically they might be moving Aiden? Like he might be the piece now to move because you got no. two? No. Wait, hold on. Don't trip, Mars. Not for Bobo. Only reason I'm saying that. Only reason I'm saying that. No. And I, I'm not saying. I'm not saying that is be. They, they think them two centers is needle movers. But you know, I do think Aiden will be disgruntled this year. I mean, I think he's been disgruntled for the last two years. So I'm just saying, you know, is that. Are they doing that to move him? Is what I'm asking. This is really more like a real question. Like I don't, I don't think they're doing it to move him for a center. Yes. I, oh. Otherwise, no. Because Bobo, no, right. Drew Eubanks. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. I agree. Well, I, I agree. Got they got Drew Eubanks. That, that, those guys are not the answer. Like I like Utah. You know, he he's gonna defend at the rim or at least try to. He probably gonna get it smashed on him, but. You know, at least he's going to try to defend at the rim. Yeah, he tries I hard. I give him that. He shot. tries hard. So I like his motor. I like his motor. I like his motor. Yeah, we, we like his motor. Yeah, we like, we his, like his motor. motor. If, they're, if, they're trying, if, they're trying, if they're trying to aid him for um, Miles Turner and uh, weak-ass Buddy Hill, then, yeah, that's a good I keep I'm, saying I'm, they should I'm try to get Andrew that. Nemhard. I think they should just go try to get Miles Turner and Andrew Nemhard. If, <laughs> if, if, if it's if, like Damo said, if any, if any center, I mean, any point guard is viable other than John Walden, Andrew Nemhard would be viable. What's your okay, so buddy? I mean, I'll, let's, if, let's, if, let's, if you get Miles Turner, I'm, if I'm I get Miles Turner, Turner, if I get Miles Turner, Andrew Nemhart for eight, and is that I, I'm not mad at that. This I is like this that. is what's not happening. The idea of them moving eight. So number one, Aiden wanted to get paid, right? right? Aiden wanted to get paid. He went out there. Indiana was the only team that was interested in signing him. Phoenix did not like him for one seventy five. We do like him for one thirty three, though. We'll take that. So now DeAndre Aiden is on the crew at one thirty three. Who? What kind of value does DeAndre Ayton have in the open market? Well, we already seen that when he went out there to find as a restricted free agent. So now, what happened in the what happened in in the playoffs last year? That's lowered his value. So the idea of them trading him, no, he doesn't have any value right now. So what's going to happen? Somebody wants DeAndre. That's what they, that's what they told you, though. Chill, chill time, y'all. If, 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 well, if, 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 if they if they if they wanted chill, to chill, trade chill. him, they would have already but, moved but, off but, of him. No, no, the difference chill, now listen, is hold on, the chill. commodity that we have but, but in DeAndre Ayton, we chill. have to hone it because that's we not can't move him. If we could move him, we would have moved him already. That's not necessarily true, bro. That's not necessarily true because these GMs and teams is moving crazy, bro. For example, look at James Harden. These fools want a king ransom for James Harden now. So you never know what they was asking for for Aiton. They could have been asking for way too much, and that's why nobody was interested. The, the stuff they asking for now, look at what they was asking for, bro, for Rudy Gobert. 
after that deal went down, bro, ain't nobody all this stuff now, bro. Teams asking for crazy stuff now. So, like, like, I mean, you see, Dame Dollar ain't got moved. They want, they want the house. Somebody yeah. wants the house. Somebody wants the house somebody for James Harden. So you know, it looks like nobody's Davis. interested. But I guarantee you I one thing. All right, did that price I, come I, down? I, like I, 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 I don't think Phoenix interested in moving them. That's what I don't. Yeah. I, I don't think that they interested in moving. It, to, them. To if, me, to, if they was interested in moving them, they would have moved them already. To me, Chilltown, it comes down to what we me uh what we were talking about on Friday with the whole what role is DeAndre Aiden willing to play? If DeAndre yeah. Aiden is if DeAndre Aiden's on his prima donna, oh, I was the number one pick, and I need I need to shoot 16, 17, 18 shots a game. I need the ball. If he's on that type of time, to get his ass out of here. Okay, I, I'm 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 trading him. And right. I, I'm I'm hundred percent confident that there's teams out there that want DeAndre Aiden. I know just and it might be what Tiki was saying that maybe they were just kind of asking for a lot just to see just to check what people are willing to give up. Right. But somebody wants DeAndre Aiden. And um I mean we see we see Indiana was the team that uh that that met, that gave up the that gave the offer to to him in uh restricted right. agency. And they, you know, I mean I I think that would be a good move for them. Get a get a young big to run with uh, their young guards now and Tyrese and, uh, and, and Ben and whoever whoever else I just drafted. Um, I think there's a couple teams that would love to have DeAndre Ayton. And if I'm the Suns, I'm holding on to him unless he start, starts that, you know, like I said, that prima donna stuff. So, bro, I, the Mavs, Pacers, the Knicks, all these teams would love to have Ayton, bro. It's mm -hmm. These dudes asking for outrageous prices. Like Killtail said, I'm not finna give you away for a six pack and a bucket of extra crispy. So, I mean, that. use your own logic to what you were saying. If this is the reason why. Ever since that Rudy Gobert deal happened, now teams is trying to go for the gusto. Look at KD. How many picks did they get for KD? I think three. Mm -mm. Hold it all up and put it on your tab and then tell your friend all the fun we had. Add it all up for real. No, I think that I think they got all the ones back. I think they got like four or five ones back. Uh-huh. And you got Mikael Bridges, one of the best defenders in the world. Cam and, and Cam and, Johnson. And Cam, who you just paid $100 million. Uh, so all that for old ass KD. And to uh, go against what Bob said, because I like to do that. Um, <laughs> KD asked, you, bro, you hey, like, KD asked, hold on, hold on, Bob. If I'm, if I'm Aiden, why I want these old washed up dudes who ain't did shit outside of when he was with Steph Curry? Why I want them coming over here taking away from me? I'm the young guy. They supposed to be the dudes that sacrifice and when you get older, you're supposed to be sacrificing for the younger guys. No, that's not necessarily true. Whoever sacrifice sacrifice is doing something without guarantee of getting something back for it for the betterment of the squad. It doesn't matter what age you are. It doesn't matter how long you've been in the NBA. If it's my time to sacrifice, it's my time to sacrifice. That's what. But that's came what, over and they got worse. See, 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 that's 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 the mindset you got to have when you want to be a team player. When you don't want to be selfish and think about yourself. Ticket, I know that's hard for you to understand, but. You know, you got to sacrifice sometimes, brother. Hold on. So I'm asking you this. Again, did they not get worse when KD went over there versus what they were before he was over there? No, they, no, they did not. Well, they were in the NBA Finals without KD, and he comes over and they get beat in the second round. I think the facts it's say otherwise. It's a, it's, they it's, could it's be in the second round last year, too. It's a different situation. It's a different team. It's They're playing different. It's, everything's different. Okay? Same team. It's not the same. Fellas, I'm going to go ahead and start reading some more Super Chats, and yeah. this is how we're going to do it. Drip Bayless with the Super Chat said, Ticket, I agree. Dame hasn't shown anything so far in the offs, but he is not in the same situation as young Bron, question mark. I think Pat can, te can teach him how to win. LeBron man, you can't teach the old dog new tricks, man. Go, go, go try to get a girl from the Vegas Strip and make it your wife and see what happens. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Sure, what you sure told us a long time ago, Ticket? What did he tell us? You can't turn what into a what? You know, can't turn into a housewife. Yeah, I mean, you know what time it is, man. Can't do what that. We, 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 we think it's going to be Zion and make Mariah Mills wiping material now. I mean, get, get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> make it hot. Make Yo, it hot. G doesn't know ball with the super <laughs> chat. Said, and B trying to run from the grind by the look of it in his new interview. Ticket, we got a new agenda. And B, oh, you already know he, he trying to link up with Jimmy. That's the backup no plan. Uh -huh. With Jimmy, that's the backup plan. If they don't get Lane Dollar, is to get Joel midway through the season. That's the backup plan. And this time, the sacrificial lamb is going to be banned. 
which is corny, which is super corny. But remember now, Ticket, remember, he didn't want Jimmy going in the first place. Mm -hmm. He wanted Jimmy in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. He did not want Jimmy going. He's on record saying that, that we made a mistake getting off of Jimmy Butler. Mm -hmm. He's on record saying that. So, I mean, the process... The, the, the process then, worked. Then you got to think, hold on, but you got to think, though. They they went and got James. James went and got, and James on flew under the radar on that shit, man. How you get Doc Rivers fired, then you want to quit? So you get Doc fired, now you want to quit? Man, 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 man bro, man. Listen, and, you man. Only, listen. and you only want to go play for the Clippers. <laughs> listen, man. So with, the, listen, with, 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 that, with, with that being said, right, with, with that being said, the process started with Joel Embiid. And they were a terrible franchise. He didn't play the first two years, and they were losing. Then they get Ben Simmons, and they starting to build this thing. And they sign Jimmy Butler, and they lose in the semifinals. They make a mistake, and they get off of Jimmy Butler, and they go with Tobias Harris, who was really good, but he wasn't Jimmy Butler. He was not Buckets, so they probably should have stuck with him. With that being said, over the last five years, what has the process been? The process has been them failing to get past the second round of the playoffs. Now Joel Embiid is telling us, I want to win an NBA championship, whether it's here or it's somewhere else. Well, you were the process. The process started with you. And it sounds like the process has failed and you won out. And if that's the case, just say that. Yeah, that's because he know he know James is serious about leaving. That's why he's saying that. He know James ain't staying. He know James don't want to be there. So with that being I'll said, be he don't think, think he can win with, with just Maxie and them boys. I wouldn't bet on James Harden anyway. How how over the last couple of years, how unstable James Harden has been. So we in 2023, over the last four years, James Harden has played for this. If he gets up with Philadelphia, which I don't think they're gonna trade him, but let's just say for the sake of argument, they do. This will be his fourth team in four years. He is becoming a ridiculously, he's just becoming a ridiculous journeyman. I'm going from here. He went from Houston to Brooklyn. Brooklyn to Philadelphia, and now he's going to get moved on to somewhere else. So it's it, it's looking real. It, it, I, I can't really depend on anybody like I'm gonna that. Get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna it's get a traveling salesman. Chill. That's, get that's, how, that's how bums move. To the chill town. That's how bums move. They don't got no crib, so they just. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all. That's what it is. That's what hey, bums do. The real chill town. The real beef should be between Doc Rivers and Tyron Lue. First of all, Tyron Lue going behind your back, taking that job with the Clippers. But second of all, if I'm Tyron Lue and I came up on the dock, why the hell would I want to touch James Harden after I just seen him get Doc Rivers fired? That's probably why he hasn't been moved to the Clippers. I don't think I, I, I don't think Ty, Tyron Lue wants anything to do with him. Yes, I he don't. does. Ty, no, no, they're best friends. James Harden is his man. James Harden and Tyron Lue are best friends. <laughs> yes. Best friends might be a little far. No, no, no. NBA circles know this. <laughs> James Harden and Ty Lue are tight like that. That's so if that's the wanted. case, then so so if that's the case, then if he's tight like that, I wouldn't be worried about him getting me fired. I'm straight. No, you're not hearing, but I'm you're not listening to what I'm saying. I said the real beef should be with Doc Rivers with Ty Lu. Because mm. if I'm Doc Ty Lu and I just seen what this dude did to you, ain't no way I'm finna get him a job. And he just got you fired. And Ty, Doc Rivers is the one who really put Ty Lu on in the coaching circles. Just saying. Mm. Took the man's job, took the man, took the man's job. Ty Lu been out here stealing jobs. Ain't nobody sending about it. He stole the job in Cleveland. Went, stole the job with the strippers. You know what I'm saying? Now you want to steal. I, I, I don't know if he stole the job in, in Cleveland more than oh, he stole it. They, no, they, no, 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 no. Hold on. It one, wasn't him more than it was them. Chill it was them. Chill they, chill pushed chill out, they pushed out black. They pushed he out stole black. Job, hey, he stole the job, they bro. They, they he, told, they, they probably told, I'm, and, and I can't say this with 100% certainty, but from the optics, it looked like they told Ty Lu, yo, we getting this dude out of here. You going to be the guy. Right. Hold on. But he, I, hold on. He I don't, stole I, I, it. I, I, he already I, I, knew I, I, don't, He already knew this. Ty Lu was the highest paid assistant coach in the NBA. He knew Ty Lu moved like a snake. He knew this. So Ty Lu knew he was going to take them. Bro, ain't no other coach that's number one, went to the finals, overachieved. According to everybody, he overachieved that year. He went to the finals. The very next year, he's in first place. Get ready to go to the All Star game, the coach the All Star game. The best are, you, are you are you a, are you a snake for taking a job that you offered because the other coach wasn't? No, no, no. You're a snake for taking. Hold on. You're a snake for taking it. Hold on. You're a snake for he taking got a, the he job. Got a, he got a the fee, bro. Hold on. Hold on, Bob. I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this. Here's where your snake going in, right? What is he? What is he? Oh, David hold on, 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 hold on. I want you to listen to something. I want you to listen to something, Bob. I'm listening, bro. I want you to think about this real quick, and I'm gonna let it go. They with the Clippers, right? 
He's Doc Rivers' lead assistant coach with the Clippers, right? Right. Doc Rivers got blamed for all the meltdowns and everything else. Well, what about his guy dang on coaching staff that was over there not telling him a damn adjustment? Where was your antennas when everything was going bad? <laughs> but but hold on, but but you go in the meeting and tell the after the season's over, after you get the hell beat out of you, then you go in the meeting and tell and tell. You know what I'm saying? The owner of the, of the strippers, I know how to fix everything. Why the hell you ain't know how to fix it then when you was an assistant coach over there with that? Maybe. First, why, why okay, so two, 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 two things, two things, Sticky. One, how do we know that he didn't tell, tell Doc, hey, Doc, man, try this, try that, try this. And then second, how the hell we know what was said behind the closed doors between the GM and the head assistant coach? How do you know he told him, hey, I can fix this? How do you know that the how do you how do you know how do you know that the GM didn't call Ty Lue and like hey man what's going down what's going on down there on the bench man? like fifty cents what, 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 what would you what would you what would you what would you do man how do we know the GM wasn't like hey Ty what would you do in a situation like this what was Doc doing did you did you and uh who else Sam and did did you guys did you guys holler at Doc how do we know see that's that's now that TMZ talk that's that TMZ talk that was going on big right I'm sure I'm sure that was going on big guys not throwing them under the bus but you do them under the bus. That's me. That's me. If if I'm if if look if I got somebody and we not best friends, we I'm I'm on your staff. Yeah, we cool. But I know like bro, he should really be my assistant. If I know that and and I know that you're on your way out anyway, and I don't know where you're gonna land, and I don't know if I'm gonna be on your bench when you do land where you're gonna land, and the GM comes to me like, hey, he's out of here. Do you think you could do better? I'm gonna be like, hell yeah. I'm not with that dog. Run, run that's, that gig. That's the difference between me and you. I don't roll what like you mean that. That's the difference between me and you. If you fire, hold on. If you fire, hold on. I'm not talking about Ron. I didn't say Ron. I said, I said. If I'm if using Ron as an example. Well, if, I'm, if, I'm if, 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 if you're using Ron for an example, if you're using Ron for example, and I'm on his staff, and I know he out, then we out. I'm and not talking I'm about Ron. I'm talking about David Black. I'm talking about David Black and Doc. No, 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 no. You two, oh, you two oh, are on no, the stack, no, no, and y'all no, no, don't know what y'all doing. Hold on, no, I'm not Just give me, give me. Let me finish what I'm saying. If, That's what that if, relationship was but, but with, with Tyloo. Okay, so who's your best friends with? Doc Rivers or James Harden? Bro? No, 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 no. This, this, this TMZ oh, talk oh, is going too far. No, 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 no. I'm talking about what's what. I'm not gossiping. I'm not talking about shit I don't know about. You don't know nobody. You can't say that. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I know you know everybody. Whatever, nigga. I'm talking. I'm talking about. I'm talking. I'm talking about. I'm talking. I'm talking about. I'm talking about what's right and what's wrong. And if I'm not going to accept the job that I think I'm better at, and I'm I'm sitting on your bench for years, and you over here calling stupid ass plays at the end of the game. I'm not gonna keep. I'm not gonna keep sitting on your bench, knowing that our days are numbered. I'm finna go get my own. That's the difference right. between me and you, Tiki. I'll go yeah. get my own. I, I already got my own. That's the difference between me and you. All right, nigga. All right. See that? I already yeah, got my own. Believe it. Believe it. We've been making boss moves. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. I'm a boss up. I just uh, again, we talking about Ty. We, we talking about Ty Lue and Doc Rivers. He got his start. Doc Rivers gave him his start in Orlando. He was sitting on the he was sitting on the bench with the Orlando Magic under Doc Rivers. Then he got with him when he was in Boston. Coming up, I'm just having a difficult time with him. Did he did he really run Doc Rivers out of out of, out of Los Angeles? Was that really going on? I mean, I'm not sure that that was going on. Considering this is the dude who essentially raised me as a coach at the pro level. Now, the whole Cleveland situation, that was something different. Yo, we getting this dude up out of here, and you're going to be the guy. That's what I feel like that was. But in, but with the Clippers, I don't think he had anything to do with that. I think that he was put in a position where he was offered the job, and he took it. No, you don't have to think. Y'all always going to go against me. It's cool. And whoever put the no up there, you can put no up there, but the stat, the numbers say I'm the deal. The numbers, the numbers say yes. So you can put the little no over my name, but the numbers say yes. So put the no up again while you while you can, sucker. You have behind that little screen. You put that no up. Put it up again right now, and the numbers say otherwise. <clears throat> put the no up. All right. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> trying to give him opportunity. Well, well, we'll continue on these super chats. Lonnie yep. Williams said, "Nah, Damo. If he's doing three sixty dunks and warm ups in his playoffs, saying he's ninety nine percent, he can play. Everyone around that time." Is hurt. That's weak as fuck. It is. 100 percent it is, yo. It's just, it's just bad on the optics, yo. If you can go, you go. And I already said this in the past, yo. The the incentive isn't there for these dudes to play like that. The incentive isn't there. What do I need to play? I already got paid. I ain't ready. Yes, you are. You just don't want to play. 
I think I think it's so disrespectful to the fans too. Like to your to and especially in the time when he did it, like in the what was it? It was the playing, right? They're trying, they play trying to play, try to play. He's to out play in off. front. He's out in front of his his guys, his teammates. His supposed to be brothers. He's out there in front of the fans that you know. You know how the youngsters get there early. They're like, yeah, let's get there early. I want to try to get the autograph. You know, you pay for the little extra. You know, all that. And they out there looking at Zion Duncan. They might, you know, kids are like, oh, Zion's probably gonna play. And then he, you know, he 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 go he go and put his street calls back on. That's so that's so disrespectful. If I was if I was a New Orleans Portland, uh, if I was a New Orleans Pelicans fan, I would I wouldn't even want Zion to come back. I'd be like, you don't got no heart, bro. We don't want you. Go you know go make some sex tapes. Mm. All right. Bald Assassin 901 said, my first time catching a live stream. I watch every day. Congrats on 100K. Salute. Appreciate you, Baldo. We're doing it. CJ, the president of the MBPA, that's a leader from Lonnie Williams. CJ, the president. Yes, he is. He's a vet. I mean, I think he's going into year 11, something like that, or year 12. He's a vet, 100% of year. Being a president doesn't make you a great leader. J Rob, stop breathing on the mic. Damn, right? You all right over there, J Rob? <laughs> Actually, my mic might be messed up. Hold on. I had the wrong mic connected. No, your mic is fine. You just be breathing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. It's it was the BBLs, bro. I was looking at the BBLs, you know. Ugh, dragon mm. breath. <laughs> <laughs> got that dragon breath. <laughs> yeah, you are you are one to talk, brother. Oh man, must must be kicking, bro. I'm not. It's not. That's not for the show right now, bro. You know, I'm, I'm gonna let you rock. <laughs> I'm gonna let you rock, bro. Oh, okay. King OJ with the super chat. He said, "Who's your favorite underappreciated players of all time?" Mine is Zach Randolph. Zach Randolph, hmm. underappreciated. I feel like either one of those two fellas. I, I mess with. I like both of them. I would say actually Lamar Odom. I would say I would say Kyrie Irving, Kobe Bryant. Adrian Kobe Bean. Either him or either him or Alex English. Those two dudes. Man, give me Steve Franchise. Franchise. <laughs> Drink more water said day. anything to make MB's anything anything to make from MB's recent comments? No, he wants to win a championship. Didn't appreciate Kobe till he died, though, Ron. That was the sad part. And appreciate him till he died. That was that's and the ticket, that's the biggest problem that I got. That's the biggest problem that I got with, with 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 people about Brian is the fact that when he was gone, they started talking about him. That's what boils me because I'm thinking, yo, that stuff y'all say about him today, he needed to hear that when he was around, man. He needed Back. to hear that. He heard when that he from the kid. he heard that from Shaq. He heard and he heard that while they was playing from Shaq. People thought they made up. Shaq was out there saying he was the best player on all nine planets. He the best player in the world while they're playing and in the midst of winning championships. So he heard that from him, but the other people, bro, the way he they did, he needed to hear that when he was here, yo. He needed to hear that when he was here. They did not give him that that's love. What, that's bro. what boy. That's what boiled me about this whole thing when when yeah. when all of this came out. But anyway, that's crazy. Especially being especially being the cat that you know grew up, wise and cold. You know what I'm saying? It took it took me too long to come around and respect his greatness. You know, and I I really I really wish I would have uh you know would have shown more respect to Cole earlier. But real quick though, Tiki, because you, you, you said those those nine planets, bro. You know, my son, these kids really trying to convince me that there's only eight planets now, but it's killing me. It's killing me. I'm like, no, Pluto is a planet. Like, Pluto is not a planet. Pluto's not a planet. Pluto's Pluto's not a planet. Te technically, it's no. Right. See, that's how you know your age. That's how I know your yeah. age. Pluto is a yeah, planet. Bro. I don't care what you're talking about. It's nine planets, y'all. What's going on, J Rob? Y'all killing me. Saturn, Mars. Uranus, Earth, Mercury, Earth, Mercury, Mercury uh, Neptune, okay, so Neptune, Earth, Neptune, Venus, Earth, Neptune, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Neptune. Saturn. That's seven right there. No, so, so no. Go, Merc just start no, with no, Mercury, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Pluto, Mars, Jupiter, Pluto's a planet. Pluto's a planet. J. Robbie, wow, Neptune, right now. Pluto's not a planet. Pluto, Pluto's a planet. Bro, what's the last planet, bro? 
If we go closest to the sun, the father's the sun, it goes Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, Pluto. Cool. I'm actually, I'm actually, ahead, I know, what, ahead, you know what I'm, you know what I'm just happy about. Bob? I'm just happy to know that. I, honestly, because I know you, I see you all the time. I'm just happy to know that you actually did pay attention in school sometimes. I'm proud of you for that. I didn't know Hunky Dory was going to pay attention in class. You feel me? So I'm proud of you. Pluto's a planet, J-Rod. What you talking about, yo? Pluto is a mass of just gas. It's not a planet. Chill. That's what Mars and J-Rod, they're still in high school, and that's what they teach in the new generation. They teachers are telling them that Pluto's not a planet. They do They do that one math. What's that one math that they, they put in? Um, you know how they made you do multiplication different? You know, that's crazy. That's nonsense. They do They do that math, bro. I was in a big ox. I was sitting behind you in science class. I wasn't cheating or anything. First, first of all, first of all, chill. You, 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 you acting like you wasn't going to class in the era when y'all had wood shop and shit. You know, you was going to the mechanics <laughs> office and all of that. I, 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 I know I had. I had wood shop. You know, shop no, no man, 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 school in a different man. era. We didn't have that <laughs> era, bro. You know? Home man. Why you stopping at why you stopping at Woodshop? I did I learned how to use a saw, an electric saw in Woodshop. That's number one. Number two, that's cool. We had home economics. I learned how to had electricity. You had electricity back in the day. You know, imagine we did. Imagine kill with them goggles on at Woodshop. I had I had the electric saw. I learned how to I learned how to beat the Y'all didn't have Woodshop. Hey Ron. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. She was, she was, she was said in my, said my voice could, my boy said my voice could crack glass. That's tough. <laughs> hey, Bill, we That's all tough. had them goggles on, dog. Them jokes is crazy, won't it, dog? For real, man. I'm in, yeah, I'm in seen, I'm in I'm seen, 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 i and so this kid really was doing his boat. We didn't have his goggles on. Got a piece of wood stuck right there in our eye, bro. It's crazy. It's no, nah, yo. It's the same thing. Where your goggles, man? Where your, where your, where your, hey, where your PPE, man? That's serious. I'm going to hey, fight, hey, fight, fight J-Rob when I see him. Pluto is a planet, J-Rob. You wild right now. Yo, it's not a planet. They told me it wasn't no more. <laughs> J Rob, PC, PC weekend starts when uh when, when Chill Town socks you in your chest. I'm gonna sock his ass when I see him. <laughs> boy gonna have that boy, that boy Chill Town knee gonna go into arthritis mode, bro. He's not gonna be in the <laughs> gonna have to he's gonna drop to a knee gonna, uh, uh, gonna drop to a knee. <laughs> hey, J Rob gonna right. be one of them drill uh, sergeants with the whistle waking niggas up at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> that's, that's J Rob. <laughs> hey, that's J Rob right there. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Here we go. Hey, oh my God. Hey, Here we go. Hey, okay. I'm good. Yeah, you know what? You know what they're gonna have me do? Whenever whatever hotel y'all stay in at, they're gonna have me with the mic with the pans clacking together. Time to wake hey, this hey, shit up. Time to wake I'm this going. shit up. Mars and Duck gonna jump you. Oh, and then Mars gonna come off the top rope. Yo, I'm crying. I'm have the thing is, Mars little lad's gonna be on one shoulder. Dub big at little lad's gonna be on both shoulders. I'm gonna walk him out of the room like this, bro. They both can't deal with me, man. No offense, Mars. No offense, Mars. Pluto's not playing it, yo. Hey, Rod. I'm sorry, J. Rod. J. Rod, what you pushing? Lonnie Williams said, since you went around Mars, Kareem and Hakeem worked with him. On post moves over the summer, and there was zero improvement. Talking about Dwight Howard. Yeah, I've mm -hmm. seen the videos of him working with Hakeem. Uh, I've seen them, but yeah. Yeah, that is true, bro. That's like a nigga getting on a Mary J. Blige track and, and the shit flopping. Like, bro, you can't work out with Hakeem. <laughs> and not just one time, me ticket. He was down there for the. I think he was down there for the whole summer with Elijah one. And came out with no post moves. <laughs> Come on, <baby. laughs> Wait, who? Who? Dwight Howard when he when he went down there and worked. He, Dwight Howard when he went down there and worked with with Olajuwon. I don't really like. I, don't, I really don't want to get back to the Dwight Howard thing, but Bob, I feel you. I don't know what they was really saying up here, but I feel you, bro. You was right. Mm. Y'all crazy as hell, man. Yeah, I think y'all was crazy. I think I gotta give Dwight Howard a little bit more grace than y'all do. 
No, we, we give him grades. He was he was the monster oh, uh, the, in the offensive end. I watched I watched I watched Durrell I watched Javel McGee in 2020 get 30 points off rim runs and lob dunks. But a good point. Javel McGee had like a 30 20. It was a Lakers. He had a, it was with the Lakers. It was with the Lakers before COVID. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I do remember well, that he had a 30 and 20 game. Yeah, it's all. Obviously, right, you need the right. You need a, you need the right guard. Right, Obviously, right. you have a, we have a LeBron James. It makes it easier. Obviously, I think you need the right things around you. But listen, listen, J. Rob, Javale made Shaq in a fool more than he scored thirty in his career. So, uh, man, I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was I was upset with Shaq. I was upset with Shaq about that. I, I think Shaq. I, I think Shaq was. Javale, 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 Javale wasn't Javale wasn't playing like Javale your cousin wasn't playing was bad. Him. Yeah, your cousin was just, bullying Javale, just, Javale, bro. The bell wasn't playing bad. He, he just had a couple moments and and, and shot. Yeah. Bro, like, bro, no, 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 no. A lot of people, a lot of like the casuals that wasn't Heck watching. Them, and I and I know y'all was watching, so I'm pretty sure y'all didn't feel this way about Javel. But I'm like a lot of the casual people out there that was seeing those Shaq in the full episodes. That was thinking Javel was weak, bro. Javel was not weak. I was, bro, I was, the man I was, was dis- literally I was disappointed in Shaq for that, bro. I was disappointed. Bro, the man, hold on. I wasn't, bro. Listen, them every single game, bro. I. I no joke. I used to watch Javel McGee all the time. Every game, bro, this man was doing some a Shaq in the full mode. Every game, every oh, game. See, so my, thing, my thing is, my thing is, I'm, I remember my senior, my senior year of high school. Uh, Miss Miss McGee, Pam McGee, she was our, our head women's coach. So Javel used to be in the gym. I used to I used to check out his workouts. I used to I used to be in there watching him. You know, we we be in the gym with Javel. Uh, obviously, he wasn't in getting the workouts with him. You know, he was doing his own thing, but we was always on the sideline watching Javel's skill set. It's so underrated, bro. He can he can do all he got. He got post work. He got a good touch. Obviously, I see how big, long he's he's a he's a, a rim protector. You know what I'm saying? Javale got the skill set. He just had a couple. You know, he had a couple uh, a couple dud moments in the league. And I think no, I, I believe. Hold on, I, I agree. Kept, Bob, Bob. I think he kept he kept he kept every time Javale would do something. I agree with you. Really kind of did him in. I think. I, no, I Bob, I totally agree with you. I thought J- Javale McGee had a skill set that never was tapped into in the league. He was one of those guys. I thought he did have a solid, like I thought he could like bring more than what he brought. The problem was he built a stigma up when he kept doing that stuff every game, bro. And then you could you would look at the coach's face after right after the play. <coughs> they would pan on the coach's face and the coach would be over there in shame. Like yeah, every but game. But bro. That's, that, I understand that, but the impact of one play, whether you rather rather you dribble off your foot and kick it into the third row. Or if I just if I just make a bad pass and goes out of bounds, at the end of the day, it's just a turnover. A turnover is just a turnover. So for it, it might be funny, it might be goofy and all that, but it's still just a turnover. So we we amplify we amplify these moments to make it seem like it had a crazy detriment on the game, and it really didn't. So it's like it's like yeah yeah he might be he might be a little awkward still. He might he's a young boy. He's still catching up with his body, so it looks funny. But it's just one play, bro. It's just one play. And so I don't. That's that's all I'm saying. It had a, it had a, it actually had a detriment. It actually was a detriment to him because that was the label on him now. Like he was considered to be busy. Like he wasn't really that smart. He just wasn't NBA ready. But AJ Rob is Pluto a planet, yo? Nah, apparently, apparently it's a dwarf planet according to the uh, the chat, and it's not a ball of gas like I thought. So maybe I wasn't paying attention in school. You wow! Well. I just want to make sure you wow. Well. Sure. <laughs> but hey, I look like I'm. I am one of those people that I'm, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. You know, it is what it is. It's not a planet though. It doesn't count. It's still just a. It's just it's still eight of them things instead of nine. But you know, it's a dwarf planet. Whatever that means, <laughs> whatever that means, whatever a dwarf planet means, that's what it means. That's what they saying. Hey, that's what they saying in the chat. So, hey, but but Jayla, 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 that's what they saying in the chat. Are dwarfs? Are, are, dwarf, are, are, are little people dwarf humans? They're still people. They just. I'm, 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 not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie for like, more. Like, like, hey, more. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Calm down. I want you to, hey, Bob. I want you to, hey, Bob. I want you to go to YouTube. I want, JaVale, I want you to pull up the JaVel McGee Shaq in the Fools, bro. Bro, no, I don't see those again, Steph Curry bro. threw a man to alley oop, and instead of dunking it, he threw it to the 20th row. <laughs> I, I mean, I, about, that's, 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 that's just that's what I'm talking about. Steph Curry threw it. No, no, hold on, hold on, Bob. Listen, 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 listen what I'm saying. They got a 25 minute complimentation, complimentation to this dude. Listen, bro. Curry mm-hmm. threw the man to alley oop. <laughs> no, he threw it. He threw it with both of what about the one? What, what about the one where he passed the ball and then ran to the other end of the floor? Oh, and he, yeah. he still the ball. What was that, yo? No, he don't have He has some. Yo, he don't have some moments. He just has some what moments. What you do? <laughs> Chill, he ran hard in him. <laughs> like he was getting back in transition, didn't he? What are you doing? <laughs> 
You gotta be you gotta be honest. All right, that might not be indicative of who he is, but that shit was funny. That grown man was getting bullied. Right. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody saying that that that's not that's that's not who he is. Cause yeah. I ain't saying that that's who he is. But that shit was funny, yo. Bro, that shit. They built they built Shaq in the pool. They built Shaq in the pool around Javale, bro. Hey, for real, Shaq. Hey, for real, Shaq. Shaq should have cut Javale a little check for them. Facts, Shaq, bro. He, he owes him royalties, bro. Hey. He some royalties. Look, 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 look. See, see, J. Rob. See, when J. Rob started, right? This is what happened with J. Rob. <laughs> no, no. Ticket started it by bringing up Shaq in the pool. And I'm just saying, like, bro, hey, you, bro, can't, you bro. can't you can't deal with somebody making a face off of you as Shaq and the fool. Like that's what they did. They made it around Javel. Hey Rob, I just want I, I want Ron. He the franchise. Mars, hey, Jay, I, want all the franchise. I want all you guys to do this. When y'all got five minutes a day, just look that up on YouTube and remind yourself. Hey, don't hey, don't that's get that like video no do. views. Don't get that video no views, y'all. <laughs> he said, just go remind yourself. <laughs> Unless, hey, unless, unless it's on Ticket's channel. Hey, Ticket, channel, this dude, okay. like, he's, he went into a full sprint to the audience. Yo, Ticket, yo, Ticket. Yo, Ticket, let's, Ticket, let's debunk, let's debunk, we gotta debunk JaVale McGee. I think we need to debunk JaVale oh, McGee, bro. I think we're hey, too hard on JaVale, bro. I think we're too hard on JaVale, bro. bro. Listen, 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 J-Rob, how we, the nigga block his own teammate shot. No, he didn't, bro. Hey, hey, Ron, he punched his own teammate shot into the third row, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, you know, man. You know Come on. Yes, he do it, bro. Look at on YouTube, bro. Yo, he blocked bro. his own teammate shot hey, to the yo, third yo, bro. row, bro. Hey, that's, hey, that's, uh, that's Photoshop, son. Yo, bro, chill. <laughs> hey, Big Ops, if we was playing and I passed you the ball and I just ran to the other end of the floor, you would think that, like, somebody was chasing me or something. You would think that, like, where is he going? What are he doing? Oh my God! Hey, actually, you know, you know, you know what's greater than uh than Javale McGee is the fact that next year Joel Embiid is going to be a New York Nick. Okay, so he's never going to get that ring he wants. It's that's not what that's not what that means. I don't want to, what him? So, so you telling me Joel Embiid and Jalen Brunson is the answer to? <laughs> All right, Jerry, I'm already gonna, I ain't gonna do this because I know it's your squad, but I don't mean we're gonna have we're gonna have Michael Bridges pull up from Brooklyn. It's gonna be like Villanova all over again. We're gonna win it all. Oh yeah. Woo. Bro, the only thing worse, the only thing worse, the only thing worse was Lavar saying he could beat Mike one on one. That's it. I think <sighs> maybe, maybe I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've I've met Michael Jordan. I think right now where he's at, you know, LeVar might give him one. No, don't do that. Don't do that. LeVar ain't airborne in free throws. LeVar ain't airborne in free throws. Nah, nah. Mike, Mike is killing him. 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 Even now, Mike is killing him right now. Look, I know my my thing is we we play make it take it. So if Javel gets the ball first. He 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 might be able to back him down. He big, you know what I'm saying? So who knows? It's possible. We're talking about one on one. Anything can happen. Hey, hey yo. Hey, PC PC One's league coming to a gym near you in Seattle very soon. Uh, but moving on, the the Green Maurice Sports said Trixie Hobbits. Trixie Hobbits. Trixie Hobbits. Yeah, I'll say that sounds like a, a a performance name. Yeah, for real. Introducing for the first time, Trixie. Probably put, probably put your voice to use. <laughs> Drink more water with the super chat. Said, would the white really be better than Bam Yo. today? Yes. Yo, yeah, chill. Who's better than Bam? Bro. I think he's better than Bam. Bro. That's crazy. I think he is too. I do. I, I I think he is too. I just think it's a conversation. That's all. I think Bam is overrated, bro. Bam was just the best player on his team in the finals. So okay. yeah, he's overrated. Bro. I like why why you think Bam is overrated? I actually like Bam. I like what he does on both ends. And I like and guess what else I like, Mars? His motor. His motor. I don't really yeah, know what he's getting. Bam's motor, man. Shy, man. Shy, man. I love Bam's motor. I love Bam's motor, man. 
the problem ticket got with Bam is his inconsistency. Like yeah, one minute he'll yeah. be 25 yeah. and 15, and then the next yeah. minute you'll see 12 and 9, and yeah. then you'll see 16 and 7. But then you'll turn around and see the dude play the way he played against Joker. Yeah. Which ticket said that he was going to do that? But that's Joker, though. That he was gonna do that. That's Joker's, though. Yeah, Joker and, said he was going to do that. Could, could, but, he actually played well. He, I mean, for what they thought, he played He played solid. But the, the, right. like you said, man, the inconsistency, bro, that's all. Like, I, think, I, I just want to see him – to, so I can understand who he is as a player, bro. Right. If he you know could, if he, yeah, if he could get that, I think if Bam can get that like mid range around the free throw line, that jump shot, if he could consistently be make that like one of his bread and butters, I think the sky's the limit for what he could be. To be honest with you, J Rob, he does have that. He, just he has it, yeah, which would explain, exactly. which would explain exactly. why it's not consistent. He don't go through it nearly exactly. as much. If he went to it in transition, like I think he should, I agree. Because you, if you catch him, how many times he's taking the ball off the glass and he's gone with it. How he could just stop at the 15 foot line, yeah. how he could just stop at the 17 foot line and pull that because he's wide open. And if you could shoot, if he could shoot that more, I think he would develop more confidence. I, I and I think he would be better at that. I, I think agree. he would be a lot better at that. Because I he's so he's he's so in yeah. tune and running the offense because that's how that offense is ran. Mm -hmm. That offense is yeah. ran with a lot of action off of him. And don't get me wrong, he don't pass it like Joker, right? He don't mm -hmm. pass it like James. But the fact that that offense is ran through him with a lot of dribble handoffs, a lot of a lot of pick and dives. Between him, he doesn't look for his offense really as much as he should, yeah. which would probably which would probably contribute to him being inconsistent. Be him being an inconsistent jump shooter. No, I agree. I, I like his game though, because when I see him shooting, he's making. I'm like, yo, if he's doing this, especially with, like the athleticism, the way he plays defense, I'm like, yo, he's a complete player. Like I think he does a lot. One of the better bigs in the league by far. I mean, better than that guy and better than Sabonis for sure. You know, he's a great basketball player. This dude in the chat, stat pad, he is wow. That Julius, I mean, that Bam is Julius Randle with a hustle game? No. No. Not. No. No. You wow. No. You wow for that. You are wow for that. I like Julius. <laughs> All right, y'all, keeping it pushing, on to the next Super Chat. Uh, Doe said, Shaq said himself that he's 6'11 and a half, not 7'1". Flat-footed. Brandon Flat Tate footed. also said, just starting from the beginning, take it as wrong about Zion. This is the result of a feminist society. Women can do no wrong when it comes to a man. Allegation is the name of the game for women like her. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Adam Eden said, Wash Dwight Howard handled Jokic, pulling him away, though? Question mark. I think you guys need to go back and rewatch that. Maybe. Honestly, there's only one person that could really guard Jokic, bro. There's one player that you got to put on Jokic that's really the Jokic stopper. Tristan Thompson. Uh, it's Rui Hachimura, man. What are we talking about? It's Rui Hachimura. <laughs> Tristan Thompson out there guarded Jokic. They went on TV a week later to talk about how you got to guard that man. That was We're going to get to – we. <clears throat> I asked this question to Mars a couple of days ago, whether it was yesterday or a couple of days ago. And since we're on the subject of Brandon, would you take seven years of Brandon Roy healthy – or 12 years of C.J. McCollum? Seven years of Brandon Roy. Peak at his best, the whole seven? You get seven years of health from Brandon Roy. That's I'll all you're getting, though. You're not getting a downside. You're getting seven years of health from Brandon Roy. I'll take, I'll take the seven. I think Brandon Roy at his best was better than C.J., and I love C.J.'s game, but Brandon Roy. But is he, is Roy. he five years better? Am I? But well, I guess this question is so open ended, though. Like, am I building a team with just Brandon Roy, or like, am I putting people, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what am you have seven years to build Brandon Roy? You start with Brandon Roy. Mm. You have seven years to get the team around Brandon Roy. Yeah, I'll take that. That's seven. It. After seven years, Brandon Roy disappears. I'm and banking every CJ McCollum, and it's twelve years. Nah, I don't. I don't need. I don't. I didn't know. I don't want twelve years of that. I'll take seven years, and and my championship window will be that that final three. Okay. Bro, I'm taking so, seven, seven years. Seven, I'm, seven taking seven years of the best, I'm taking seven years of the best Jamal Crawford over CJ McCullough. And that's facts. Shout out to my dog, Jamal Crawford, man. Right. Hey, dog. if Jamal Crawford is bad as CJ McCullough, then clearly yeah. Dame ain't have enough of I said the best seven years. I'm taking his best seven years. Boogie was out here putting up. Boogie down Crawford was out here putting up got dag on. In some games, he's getting 50 in some of these games, bro. I don't, I don't so want you to know. He can play if, now. If Jamal Crawford is better than CJ, then they may have enough help. I'm saying, hold on. Bro, let's the man still, hold on. The man still, hold on. The man played back up a lot of years in his career and still averaged, like, what, almost 15 points a game for his career? Didn't he have some years where he's averaging almost 20 points a game? What are you talking about, bro? He had, like, he probably Dame had, like. Dame doesn't have enough help. That's what I'm saying. Dame ain't have no, enough I'm help. No, I'm talking about, no, I'm saying, I'm taking, hold on, again. 
I'm taking the best six, seven years of Jamal Crawford versus CJ McCollum. They were right, listen, they were right around the same type of 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 of, of level at their best. Yeah, they, I'm pretty they, sure they that Boogie, Boogie Crawford That's was putting up when he putting up numbers, hold on, when he putting up numbers in New York, that I think was, right before he left was, Chicago, hold on, right before he left it, Chicago. He was putting up numbers. Then he put up numbers when he was. I know he was putting up numbers in New York when he left. Are you saying? Are you saying? Are you saying? Are you saying that Jamal? Are you saying that Jamal's better than CJ? I said I'm taking his. They just said. I heard what you said, bro. I'm saying. Are you saying that Jamal's better than CJ? I'm just wanting to know if that's what you're saying. I like his game better than CJ's, and I like his heart better than CJ's. Oh, he's better. I'm a little bit. Hold, hold on. They said something about most underappreciated players. He's one of them. And it's because yeah. he's quiet. He don't really say much. He's right, quiet. So, say- so, so Jamal's better than CJ. Yeah, Damon. In my opinion, yeah. That's what in my opinion, mean. yes. Okay. And this and this and that's the best player that they got for Dame in this whole time. And you telling me that the Portland Trailblazers and the Raggedy franchise. Thank no, you. I'm telling you, no, no, no. Hold on, you downplaying Jamal Crawford, nigga. You ain't playing nothing. I'm asking you a question. Hold on. Jamal, hold on. You, Jamal Crawford, you, 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 you the one versus lineup. Put the versus lineup. First of all, hold on, hold on. First of all, you want to say, first of all, you want to greatest man in NBA history. I'm just saying, first of all, you want to greatest man in NBA history. Two damn weeks. You spent two damn weeks trying to convince us that Portland gave damn everything. Dang bro, you do you not hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question, bro. Do you not know who? Do you not know who Boogie Crawford was? I'm not talking about Jamal Crawford. What's I'm talking about Jamal Crawford. I'm talking about I'm telling you about how you I'm telling you forced it, how you forced us to, to, to try to low rate uh 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 try to low rate damn dollar calling them lame dollar the Portland Trailblazers did this for you did that for you put all these teams around you and then you sit here and tell me that the best player that they gave them damn in 12 years isn't better than Jamal Crawford, bro. I can't believe you wasted my time for, for well, first of all, let me say this. Let me say this to you. Jamal Crawford, oh, Jamal Crawford was a hell of a hold on. Jamal Crawford oh, was a hell of a star in the league. Hold on. Jamal Crawford, hold on. Let, 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 let me let me rebuttal. Let me rebuttal to you. Jamal Crawford was a hell of a hell of a basketball player in the league. He was a, one of the most underrated players in the NBA as well. He was one of the greatest six men in NBA history outside of guys like Ginobili and guys like Lou Williams. He's one of the greatest six men in the history of the game. Hold on, I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet. Hold on, I'm not finished yet. Can I finish finish with my point out, bro? So my point is this. I think the problem with Jamal Crawford was is who he got drafted to. He came in the league on that crazy-ass team in Chicago with all of those talented dudes that didn't have no – they didn't have no guidance on that team as far as the coaching, as far as where they was going to go. They had talent, but they didn't have no guidance. That right there, just, to just, me, just, right, just take this L. Just take this L and say you was capping. Just, just say you was capping. Right, let's go, move on. Just okay, say you cool. was capping and move all on. Right, all right, cool. You, the way the way the way the way you just the way the way you just disrespected the way you just disrespected Dan uh Dan this whole time, bro. Come on. I, hold on, hold on. Jamal, Jamal Crawford was a lottery pick, nigga. What are you talking I about? Care, I don't care where he was picked. So you, so are you, are you, are you, are you saying that if Jamal Crawford was on that Portland Trailblazers team? Then Dame, then Dame and Jamal can take yes. the Yes, if Jamal Crawford, hold on. I'm going to say it right now. If Jamal Crawford was Dame Lillard, second best player, that nigga would have been lethal too, nigga. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Yes, that nigga was cold. Jamal Crawford was a cold hey. basketball player, bro. You ain't watched the game? You uh, hold on. You didn't I watch seen, his career? I've seen, 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 seen Jamal. I've seen Jamal. I've seen Jamal. I've seen Jamal. I got none but love. I got none but love. When he came in the league, 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 he did not go into a situation that was conducive to him growing his game early. Because as a as a lottery pick, as a top ten pick in the draft, he was supposed to come in the league and be going off the bat. He went to that dysfunctional ass team over in Chicago with all them Eddie Curry, Tyson Chandler, all them dudes over there with no guidance. These is facts. So you just, go over there. Just, just say that you didn't mean what you were saying, and that you just want to hang on Dan for two weeks. Hold on, no, 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 no. I know exactly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Now, and, 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 I mean and, and, exactly and, what I was saying. Hey, 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 hold on, bro, hold on, bro, hold on, bro. You a liar and the truth ain't in. I can't believe you over here saying this. Okay, cool. Feel whatever you want to. Hey, feel whatever you want to feel. I'm gonna tell you like this. Not only is Jamal Crawford clutch. Not only is Jamal Crawford a bucket getter. Not only do Jamal Crawford have heart, but he can also switch over and play the point too. Bro, so that's I don't want I don't want I don't want to get into it because if I say what I'm trying to say, y'all gonna make it look like I'm I'm disrespecting Jamal, and I got nothing but love for Jamal. Take don't say what you gonna say, man. Stand on it. Stand on it. Bro, with, okay, so so all that, all that, with all that being said, I'm gonna ask the same thing you always ask. What did Jamal Crawford ever do? 
What did Jamal Crawford ever take a team? He won. He was hold on. 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 Before Kawhi came over there, that turned the whole that sorry ass franchise around. He on was a part back, of those on Jamal's back. Back. Say what? On Jamal's back or Chris Paul, Chris Paul and Blake Griffin? Nigga, he was one of the leaders on the team. What are you talking about? All right, I've heard enough, man. I've heard enough. Okay, cool. No problem. I'll rest my, I'll rest my case. The, the, no, the, problem. The, no problem. The, the, no problem. The, the, the defense rest. The defense no problem. Rest. Yo, hey, hey, y'all, y'all just save it. You see, y'all, y'all wasting all y'all energy. Don't y'all got a boxing match coming up soon or a one on one or oh, something? No, oh, and, and, I am, and, and, and I am announcing and I'm and I'm announcing both corners, bro. Honestly, and, and, and you talk you talking about one on one. You don't talk about one on one, Ron. Come on, you know, you know this brother don't want to play me. He just be on here doing this shit for entertainment. Uh, and bye. Oh, oh, nigga, you gotta you gotta get your own ass. I'm gonna tell you how to live for this shit. Make the layup. I'll be tired of it. The people side of the video, I got a wide open layup. If he can't, 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 if Look, look, because this is the thing. This is the thing. I, I love it, though, because, Tiki, you are a great showman, my man. Who said that? No, no, no. You just hey, said Hold on. You just said that. Hey, hey, so hey, hey, you, hey, you was made for show business, brother. Because you, hey, you, know, you, hey, you know how to get the people going. You know how to get the people going. I didn't even say that about it. Hold on. Ron you know? brought this up. Ron brought this up. I didn't get the people going. And then you start talking you guys about are me. You doing the exact opposite of what I told you guys not to Yo, do. I said, I'm just saying, I know. The, the, right the line, the line, hey, Ron, 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 the line. Like, like Ticket should. Because Ron, because Ron, Ticket came up and wants lions and tigers and bears, you know what I'm saying? So he bout that, but he shook. Hey, I don't know why he hey, shook. He, 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 he came, came up and wants lions and tigers and bears. Hey, hey, Ron, Ron. Hey, Ron, hey, 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 he you know I'm a no big game money. You know what I'm saying? Man. Come on, man. He got the lines and tigers. Come on, man. He stood up. Hey, Bob. You know, hey, Bob. It's, it's, hey, Bob. It's it feels good right now for you to talk it. Hey, Bob. Hey, you you too small, bro. bro. You too small, you dog. Be, hey, bro. hey, Ron, Ron. Oh, the, the line starting at look. I'm gonna put the line out for the chat. Listen, the betting it's starts. The bets. The betting is starting at Ron. Bob plus one twenty five. Ticket minus one fifty. So that's the line. You know, put your money where your mouth nah, is. Wait, wait, nah, don't tell I'm hey, the bookie. Hey, don't tell him, J Rob. I'm the bookie. Don't I'm the bookie. J Rob. Don't tell him what to do. I ain't finna say. Listen, I'm gonna let Bob put all this fake ass. Oh, he scared fear tactics and all these other people and everything else. He can do all that he want to do. I just hope that man don't miss them layups. I seen him missing on that video. He got on his channel. <laughs> he be, he be missing. He be missing layups. He be missing I'm layups. Gonna, I'm gonna spend the video right now. Around the video. Let's see the video. Can you put it in the bed? The, 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 the ball almost the ball almost hit him back in his face. <laughs> <laughs> my question is, my question is, are y'all still dunking? Are y'all both still dunking? Come on, man. Hey, look, I'm gonna say it to you. Hey, no, don't do that. I'm being dead honest. I'm being dead honest. I'm gonna say Rob, I'm gonna say this to you right now. The man missed the layup and the ball almost knocked his head off. <laughs> hey, hey, once again, once again, TMZ ticket. Come with, come with some shit. Hold on, hold on. Once again, TMZ ticket. Hey, Ron, hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. Hey, Ron. I'm sending you the video right now. Hey, Ron. Hey, 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 Ron. hey, Ron. Since I'm lying, that's all right. Easy. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on, Ron. Hold on, Let me tell you. 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 What TMZ ticket talking about right now? Come on, wait a minute. No, I do, I do, I'm doing, I'm doing a short and I'm filming and I'm talking and I'll just throw the ball up. You know what I'm saying? You don't even see me throw it up. You don't know how I throw it up. All you see is the ball hit the hit the back of the joint. Shit. If it was if it was serious, I wouldn't even have posted it. It's not nothing, it's but you, message, know, you got you know uh, you know you know how I go gossip block ticket, man. You don't want to talk about me. Hey, man, man, ticket man, gonna man, act man, like that was man, that ball was that ball almost broke your head open. Sometimes it's a hard hat area. I want I want to deny the fact sometimes Yo. it's a hard hat area, but for yeah, the most part, you know, 
Yo, I cannot wait to see y'all hoop against each other. Bro. I sent Ron the video though. Ron, yo, 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 I ain't gonna lie though. Hey, Rob, I ain't gonna lie though. Bro, don't buy hey, Rob, it. I ain't gonna lie. Me and Ron, me, Ron, and JD, we be with you a lot, bro. Don't go out there and embarrass us, bro. Put on, put on the picture. Look, look, I would have made that. I would have made that. I don't got to reshoot the video and say everything I said. I don't lie, Bob. Hey, Ox, all you got to do is this, bro. Like I say, you know, I be with you all the time. Don't go out there and embarrass me, gang. That's all I ask, bro. Because Ticket is about to come hey, out Rob, here and try to smoke you. Happen, He's going to try to smoke you, bro. Can we move on? It's not going to happen, J-Rod. We, hey, know, just, we, uh, know, we know he ain't never going to pull up. He's going to make some more excuses. Man, that, oh. that dude do all that talk. That dude do all that talk. Oh, and had a jump shot like LeVar Ball, man. Come on, man. Let's move on. Let's move on. I'm hey, like, J-Rod. Let's move on. We know this ain't going to happen. Huh? It's Pluto planet. It's a it's a dwarf planet. Known planet. Mini planet. <laughs> It's not the same. It's not one of the big planets. Mini planets. Right, I'm good. I'm good. So it's, <laughs> so it's, it's like it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a trailer planet. You know, you know like it's a mobile planet. You, know, you got a home. You got a mobile home. It's one of those. Bro, put the clown emoji on my face, bro. Come on. Hey, bro. it's a. Uh, hey, it's a hold on. Let's, you know what? You know what? Let's just let me just let it's me just ask. Planet. Hold on. Let me ask one person who just knows the answer. Uh, so, so Siri. So, Siri, is Pluto a planet? Pluto is a dwarf planet in the Cooper belt, a ring of bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune. So it's I was right. It's a dwarf planet. It's a dwarf planet. It, it's a what? Yes, but a dwarf, a dwarf is still a planet. Just like I said, human, so human little people that are dwarves are so still people, it's a, so it's a Yeah, they're known. You're going to get canceled, J-Rob. So, J-Rob, how am I getting canceled? One. I'm asking you a simple question, J-Rob. So it's a small what? It's a small, it's a mini planet. It's okay, so <laughs> <All right. laughs> like tomato, hey, tomato, tomato. You feel me, bro? Super chat, <laughs> super chat, bro. Ron, get to the super chat, bro. Like, let's get to it. Let's get to it. <laughs> Siri, don't even yo, wait, chill. Do you know, Ron? Hey, Ron, I'm mad. Yeah. Yo, hey, Ron, I'm mad y'all made this title about Bo Bo, man. Man, Bo Bo ain't moving the needle, man. Bo Bo got to get him on the minimum contract. The sun just got to do my job. Y'all Bo Bo thing out the way now. Bo Bo ain't moving no needle, man. Man, that man, I read the article on that man. They said that man is lazy, and that's the reason why Orlando got rid of him. I couldn't believe it, man. I was high on Bo Bo till I read that, bro. Oh, look, look, look. Somebody sent the super chat. It's a planet, but not a part of the solar system. There you go. I wasn't right. I wasn't wrong. Um, wait, 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 wait. Chill town. Who I'm is not a, flat I'm, Earth? I'm a person. I'm just not part of who society. Is flat Earth? Hell? Who is Flat Earth Dave? They're <laughs> telling me to ask you about Flat Earth Dave. Who is Flat what Earth I... Dave? Do you know who that oh, is? Flat Earth. That's some guy yeah, who went flat... on fluid and show him his preaching. And he had my brain. Remember that dude that came on ticket who had your brain hurting? That's what Flat Earth Dave had with me. I was yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a flat earther. Like, like, I definitely, I'm like, definitely, I'm definitely not a flat earther at all. I definitely believe in space and all of that. I believe, I believe Pluto exists. I just believe it's not of the original you nine. It you know? How could you not believe it exists? <laughs> No, what are we talking about? No, I'm just saying. No, I'm saying. I'm saying that I'm not a flat earther. I'm hey, bro, what we doing, y'all? What's happening right now? What's going I just on believe it's you know it's not oh, a part man. of the original joints. It's one of the it's the mini planet. It's like a you know. If you open your mind, you'll see that the world. Hey, Bob. Bro, bro, bro. Bro. Hey, salute to your, hey, Bob. Salute to your salute to your lady scene, though, man. Hey, I, hey, I respect oh, you for that, man. Man. I, I, I that. that. How they how, how they do, big? By the way, how your crew? How your crew? Uh, so I, I think I think I told y'all. So I, I have I have nine, but I knew my point guard wasn't gonna be able to come. So I was expecting right. six. We had some visa issues, so I'm down here rocking. I mean, I was expecting eight. We have some re- visa issues, that, so I'm down here rocking with six players. Um. Right. But we but we fought we we won the first game um uh by a good game by two second game they was killing us at halftime we fought back uh ended up losing that game by six but i guarantee if we had two more minutes in that game we would have won by six we, we so you ain't lose you just ran out of time in that game you didn't i mean well, we, 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 we lost but my, my youngster my so my i got i got two 13 year olds uh three 14 year olds and one 15 year old we're playing 15 and uh-huh. under 
Um, my my one of my thirteen year olds are dogs, and so they they turned they turned up a little too late. They was kind of shook up. Some of the bigger girls was bullying them, but they turned up, and we we couldn't we didn't have enough time to bring it back. But we fought. Uh, last game we we got they beat us pretty good. Uh, we we ended up losing that game by I think nine. But it was still a good game. So we're, we're done with the L.A. tournament. We're on to Vegas next. And so we, we're just practicing, getting ready, put, putting in putting in a couple more sets because, you know, my, my, like I said, my ball handle isn't here. So we're trying to speed up the game, play a little more 94, 94 feet uh, defense. We're going to speed up the game and run them in Vegas. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward hey, Bob, to it. Hold on, Bob. They speak English or you – because you say you don't speak Spanish. Uh, I got – they – so – so the the younger two, their their English isn't all that great. But my, my captain, my point guard, but my point guard, she kind of if anything they don't understand, she'll she'll let them know for me. But for the most part, the older girls, like the the, the fifteen year old, the older fourteen year olds, they they all speak Spanish pretty good. Um, two of the parents speak, I mean English, I mean two of the parents speak English really well. Uh, my right. my my Spanish is terrible, but you know we make it work. Right. And my this, all, all these all these girls are from Merida, from the Yucatan in Mexico. And they all came out just to you know just to see see where they're at. And I'm actually I'm actually impressed. I'm actually impressed. Shout out to you, Ron. I mean, Bob. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Proud of you, bro. I did. I did. All all three. All three games are streamed on my channel. So if y'all ever want, if y'all want to check it out, you know what I'm saying. Word. 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 That's what's up. I appreciate that. Hey, Ron. You really need to talk to Shaq about y'all getting a PCAU team for the for youth. That's what y'all need to do. Chill, chill, it's on, it's on the way. No, nah, we about to, we about to have that. We about to have PC seven on seven team too. We definitely trying to get in that seven on seven tournament. I'm about to have a team at OTE, bro. Hey, I forgot yeah. to tell y'all. Hey, don't y'all forget about the memberships. Hey, huh? I still got that fifty to run for the memberships. Y'all make sure y'all get those memberships. Mm -hmm. I still got that bread. I'm sending Ron. I told you guys after the first week in July, uh, I'm gonna pass that bread to Ron to give to one of the um. One of the uh, new members of the channel, man. Make sure y'all get that membership to the channel, bro. Appreciate everybody who been getting the memberships too. We all appreciate that. You, you had said yeah, that, and that's cool. why that one fifty last. I'll talk to you about it offline. You know what I'm talking about, though. Hey, uh, but uh, Dorian Clayton got fifty two though, so that's that's a hundred. Oh yeah, Mars, you got a hundred, right? Or it was one fifty. Well, Mars still got some. He's contributing. Fluent got some. Uh, yeah, we, we got some for you guys. I, I will contribute y'all, but I'm I'm still on my last three dollars. <laughs> I've got three dollars. <laughs> All right, fellas, let, let, let's get back to the money. Let's get back to the super chats. Yep. John Reyes said, "What would be better for a player's career? Fail and have breakdowns, mm -hmm. then win a chip late in their career, aka Dirk, or win early in their career, aka Giannis, then fail every year after that. Pretend he never wins again. Salute." Mm -hmm. That was a terrible that was nasty work on Giannis, that right there. That was, that was, that was a, yeah, that was a. Bad. That was a nasty question, bro. Giannis won two, three, what, two years ago? Three years ago? And he's, still in his, and he's still in his prime. It ain't like, like, what, are, like, what, are, like what are we he talking said, about? He, does, he, he said pretend that he doesn't win, though. So what, what would you rather do, win early and not win for the rest of your career or go a whole career and then win? I, mean, I can't pretend because Giannis win early. Either, way, either way, I win one. I mean, I don't care. I, yeah, I, I mean, rather win, win, win early because they respect him more. Like, if you win like Giannis won, they respect him more than if you won like Gary Payton did. Or like Mitch Richmond did, yeah, Jason like they, they, they were that more, like, But if you went early, you went early. If you went early, you get paid more, though, right? Yeah, yeah. That's you went true. early. You, you'll get that's more money very true. You definitely get more mm -hmm. money. You went early. That's a fact. Yeah. That's a great point, actually. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I'd rather win early. That's a great point, Bob. Because you're gonna get a bag dude, right after. So you see how you see how Harrison Barnes did went to uh, went to uh, the Mavericks and uh, mm -hmm. he got he got and Mark Cuban got him out. Yeah, he got he got to it. Yeah, we we even gave him a nice contract when he came to us that first time. I mean, you saw Jordan Poole. Bro. You just extended him. You just extended him again. Yeah, but not but not as much. He took he took he took less though. Jordan Poole got an absolute bag. Mad Max talks. Mad Max Sports Talk said spacing would be a problem for mostly every big. Spacing would be a problem for mostly a big. Well, again, yeah. Right, and and a guy like Dwight Howard, he would have to be able. He don't. He doesn't. As, as as much of a force as he is around the basket in today's game, he got to be able to play in the mid post and in the mid range. He has to. The game played too fast right now for him not to be able. To. Uh, I don't know. Adam Eden said, "09 Dwight would have been the best, definitely on that Lakers team." Point point being. He could hang and adapt with 90% of the bigs on the outside. 
best on the Lakers team. He ain't better. He wouldn't have been better than LeBron James and what you call it. I think he's. I think he meant best defender. I think that's what the D. Oh, okay. I, I thought he was. Okay, I thought he said that defense would have been crazy with him, AD, and Rondo, and and LeBron. Now, damn. Yeah, they shutting the door on everybody. Yeah, it would have been all everybody. Right. <laughs> Drink more water. Said, how come Aiden can play today, but Dwight can't? Aiden has because Aiden can knock. And he can knock down the mid range. Mm-hmm. DeAndre Aiden can shoot the seven. They're trying to run. They're trying, trying to run him out. <laughs> they try, they trying to run Aiden out. <laughs> right. Right. I was saying right. So let's also mention that the tribe one said 2013 Lakers prime better than 2020 Lakers prime. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wait a minute. Say that again. Which which Lakers prime? 2013. The Lakers with Paul Gasol, Steve Nash. Uh, Nash is over. Bryant. No, no, they're talking about in their prime. He said put everyone in their prime. Oh, and the same thing we did with the 2020 Lakers. Right. The same thing. Prime Kobe. Prime. I don't know. Prime Paul. Prime Ron. Prime. Because you're gonna have what? You have what? Ron, I took on that thing. I don't know. Because 2020, you would have Prime Rondo. You would have Prime Dwight Howard. Obviously, nah, man, right, right. Hold on, but on, on that twenty thirteen, Ron, Ron, Jr. Smith. So you get so 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 dig so dig this, J. Rob. On that twenty thirteen team, team. you getting so on that twenty thirteen team, you getting two thousand four Ron Artest, who was the mm-hmm. defensive player of the year, and averaging Facts. twenty a game. Facts. You, Facts. Getting, you, you getting Bryant, who uh, which which Bryant yeah. are we talking about? Just any any anyone any, 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 any early version, yeah, any early elite version, anyone you want. You get you getting you getting eighteen and eleven, Steve Nash, right? You getting that dude. Two thousand and nine, Pal Gasol. You getting two thousand and nine, Pal Gasol. I, like I Pal think Gasol. that he would. I'm not sure that that Pal Gasol is he. I, I don't know if he outplaying Anthony. Davis. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna get too lost in Steve Nash because I know this is. I kind of like Rondo more than Steve Nash. Obviously, right. Steve Nash had the better career. But I just like Rondo overall as a player. But I'm also kind of biased when it comes to Rondo. I just overall love the way he played the game of basketball. So I I'm big Rondo on him. too. I love Rondo. I dug Rondo too. I think that but was a great matchup though. You could have put, but the thing is that that Ron Artest, you could have put him on LeBron James and played one on one. But who would have stopped on that team? My question is, do y'all really think Paul Gasol could have dealt with a a prime Dwight Howard? No, we would not. Well, Hold on, he Howard Dwight Howard in the final. Huh? He already yeah. did that. He destroyed the white in the yeah, final. He, he, he outplayed him in the final. That's, That's true. That's true. That's true too. That's true too. That's a good point. So yeah. So Gass- he- so imagine, imagine Pal Gasol having to deal with both him yeah, and I like Anthony it. Davis. No, but I like got, it. I but think y'all are right. Dwight on that team, you know, but the white would be on that team. Yeah, no, I like it. I think y'all are right. Y'all are right. Because everybody that they got a prime, you got a prime the white with him, Phil Town. Chill. You got a prime the white with a prime pal. Yeah. So you got the defense and the offense on that team. I like it. I think the defense. I I think the. The defense would be not the defense. I'm sorry. I think the offense would be the separator because Anthony Davis could score mm-hmm. and he could defend. Oh, I'm with you. Hold on. No, no. I'm with you on that. Dwight would cancel mm-hmm. himself out because he would have been on both teams. Right. So but he cancels himself out. So now that's AD, leaving. AD that's leaving. AD would have outperformed Powell the Soul. Yes, that's what I was about to say. Here, here's the parameter right here. You could have threw Ron Artest on LeBron James. That's the that that's the that is the equivalent because. Ron Artest in his prime was guarding the top perimeter players and locking them down in his prime. But hold on, but, but hold on, hold on, ticket though. I gotta push back a little bit. What was let's say the and, and this is a question to the panel. Well, who was the best? What year was the best version of Bron? Do you think? I'm gonna go 2018. I don't, I don't care what hold on. I don't care what year you pick. The prime Ron Artest? 20, was you think 20, in. you think 2018 LeBron James. Let's just go 2018. You think Ron Artest is locking that version of Bron? Hell up, yeah, ticket? prime Ron Artest. <laughs> Bro, I'm talking about a prime run on test was locking Ox. down all the – about, I about, about, it, when I say on. locking down, hold on. When I say locking down, I'm talking about he's holding you under your average. A prime okay. run on test was doing that that year he won defensive player of the year. We're not going to – hold on. We're not oh, going to act like oh, he was. I might have to do – I might have to push back. That was one know. of the – hey, look, that was one of the – I'm going to tell you, a prime run on test defensively bro, was one of the craziest things I've ever seen, bro. What's, what's that ticket like? 07, 07, 07 on test? He was going on test. Oh, no, the one of the defensive player of the year. Listen, he was guarding the he was guarding the elite players in the league. They, you're giving them hell. Look it up. He was going to the not, team. I'm, 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 not, I'm, I'm not mad. I don't know. I'm not mad. 2018, Braun was a different monster. He's not bro. hearing me, bro, but Ron Artest was different. I a agree. No, I agree with different. that. I agree with that. This is a great about, conversation. This is a great conversation. No, this is a great conversation. Yeah, we might have to I'm not mad. We might have. 
We might have to watch that film together, bro. Hey, Chris, I don't Queensbridge know, bro. had everything on lock on that perimeter. Queensbridge, Ron Artest, Queensbridge uh, that was spinning in that chair, Queensbridge that was playing for the Pacers, ooh. playing for the Bulls. Man, y'all dudes, I ain't trying to mind, man. Bro, Ron Artest. I'm starting to get on your side on this one, bro. I'm going to tell you what I know about Ron. When I walked into the practice and Ron and I was on the court before we came after we came on, uh, or, or, excuse me, before we came on, they was getting ready to leave off, he was on the court. Oh, excuse me, we was leaving off, he was coming, they was coming on. He's on the court. Man, that nigga built like, he's, excuse me, that dude's built like a linebacker, bro. Ron Artest is built like a slave, bro. And I'm talking about he is huge, long arms, strong as hell. He built like an ox, bro. And you talking about this dude in his prime on D, I'm talking about a legit 6'5". What was LeBron built like? What was LeBron built like? If he was built oh, like a... Uh, no, no, yeah, but, but I'm, I'm saying, I imagine LeBron without PEDs, though. No, no, but listen. Hold on. This is what I'm saying to you, Rob. Stop it. 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 Stop Go back and watch those. Go just go type in Ron Artest. You ain't telling me who the hell Ron Artest is. Hold on. Go to YouTube. Type in Ron Artest defense and look what he was doing with Kobe. T Mac, Vince, and all them dudes that was in their prime at that time. Look what he was doing hey, when he was under, under, under Roy out of it. Hey, keep under B Roy out of it because Ron Artest said out his mouth, B Roy used to tear him up. He Ron averaged 27 points. You said he, you were telling me he's holding Bron under 27. Yeah, yeah bro, really listen. I say, hold on. I'm gonna say, hold on. I'm gonna say it to you one more time. Stop it, bro. I saw I'm LeBron saying, James in the it. NBA finals. Look at when Kawhi was coming in the game, was like, oh, here we go again. So that's, I know. That's a lot. That's I know. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. But Ron Artest's level, that level he played at that year was better than Kawhi defensively. No. That level he played oh, at that year. No, 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 Again, he was playing against the hold on, hold on. He was playing at that time, Bob. Hold on one second, Bob. At that time, he was playing against the top wing. Offensive players in NBA history. Uh, he was playing against Kobe in his prime, T Mac in his prime, Vince in his prime. He was playing against the best, the creme de la creme, against LeBron. All them dudes. He was playing against the creme de la creme from that 204 to, I guess, what, what was it, Chill Town? It was, you had like a five year stretch that he was a defensive demon out there. So yo, I, we, I don't know we, what y'all talk about, man. I, yo, can we just have a, can we just, yo, can we just watch film together, bro? Let's just Go watch the film. Hey, bro. You now, I want to watch it with you. I want to watch it with you, though. I don't want to watch it, so I want to watch it with you. Hey, Rob, that film on Ron Artest was scary. I want to watch it again. I'm going to watch it, bro. We're going to watch it. I'm going to go and watch it. But, like, bro, 2018, right. Ron, that's tough. I'm not mad at it, though. I'm not mad at it. All right. Uh, let's get back into the Super Chats. J-Rob, we get it. You want to watch film a ticket. All right. Cool. Uh, moving along. Reggie Red Such a said, weirdo, bro. did LeBron really steal <laughs> the pro necklace from the Titanic? What is I, that? I, 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 that pro John was called. I ain't mad at it. it was called Reggie Red's Titan troll too. Like the Mom. Titanic. The Titanic's a great movie too. I'm offended. Facts. Make sure I go see Oppenheimer this weekend. That she's gonna be fire. Jay Bauman said, "Sons got worse with KD?" Question mark. Laugh my ass off. Oh wait, I forgot he has to win the title by himself, even though it's a team sport. Laughing my ass off. Haters. LOL. You know why he's saying that he got to win the NBA championship by himself? Kill it. Nobody's saying that. Ain't nobody's saying that. Nobody's That's saying not that. true. But if they weren't saying that, they wouldn't have <laughs> his championships he already has. If they weren't saying if, that? If they, weren't saying that he has to win, if they weren't saying he has to win it by himself, they would count his rings he already has, but they don't. So clearly they have a problem. With the way we he do won. count his rings. That, even though it was a sucker move that he did, they You still might count community. that. I'm talking about the general community. They, they don't. They, they don't. They don't count his rings. Right or wrong, but they don't. So they clearly do think he has to win by himself. Yeah. Um. But all right, fellas, I got I got to get on the freeway, man. So I'll check y'all. All right, Joe. All right, bro. Go be great. Good yeah. luck today, bro. Appreciate you. Right, we we don't play again until Friday. Uh, we okay, just practicing. Right. Appreciate y'all. Okay. Hey, but, uh, Friday, open, that, that open open armor. Y'all can go watch that. But uh, I'll be obviously taking my daughter to go see the Barbie movie. Barbie movie. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely yeah. going to go with Barbie. But, be, but it's because I'm taking my daughter, so we might yeah, go see yeah. three. I'm not going to see three or four times. Yo, Ox. I just, I just want to see the ball. Go study the greats. Go work on your game. Work on your coaching. Do something. Work on your X's and O's. Go go oh, watch no. some great Popovich, Phil Jackson. Go watch some Red Arbach. Do something. But some hey, also, too, 
Work on your layups. Uh, I'm I'm on the mic injury. I'm on the mic injury today. I got you. I got you. No doubt. Layup package right, got to improve, Big Ox. If we got to get nicer with your layup package. Kind of whack right now. Kind of <laughs> I seen your mid range game. You might you not beating ticket with your mid range game. Kind of whack right now. I'm, I'm beating you in my mid range game. Oh, y'all keep me out of this. Know that? Hey, hey, you, you big FIFA four dumb dorks. Y'all, 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 y'all focus on that. All right, no, hey, leave me out of this, cause hey, I'm running circles around you and Ticket at the same time. FIFA four. Hey, hey, Ticket, you want? Hey, Ticket, you want talk? You want talk about missing layups? Oh, y'all want talk about some missing layups? You're done. I tell you about some missing layups. Hey, Steve, hold on, 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 do he smoke hey, layups? Yes or no? Do he smoke hey, layups? Nah, Rob be smoking, <laughs> nah, smoking layups, bro. I played with him the other day, bro. I, <laughs> bro, I would have had a double double run out here, and he could dunk. Like he don't just want to dunk everything, bro. But you know, he just. Sure. Out here, so you, you talking about the, the play. You don't want to tell Get about the next time we play? and Ox is good. crazy. Sensor and Ox is crazy. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, can I, wait, wait, Ron, wait, uh, Mars. Wait, how many? Okay, so hey, I'm back. I'm back. Hold on, Jay Rob. Before, hey, before, before, go, go. Uh, before Ron gets gets on his uh dictatorship again, y'all know how he do. Um, uh, mm -hmm. y'all want to talk about some missed layups? I'll tell you what. Y'all can ask Shaq. He was there. He can confirm it. We on we on uh, my sophomore year. We playing against North Seattle. We have to win this game to make the playoffs. My coach runs the plays. Ron comes across as a screen for me. Boss wants to come for me. They triple team me right there because I'm that deadly. So what do they do? They leave Ron <laughs> wide open. Ron's wide open. Two seconds left on the clock. We're down by one point. We have to win this game to go to the playoffs, the NWAX. Who blew the layup, Ron? Wide open right next to the rim. No defense. I'll wait. I was playing for North Seattle. Oh, he was with us? Is I, that what it was, Big Ops? He was with us? I was playing for North Seattle. He was with us? Is that what that case was, Big Ops? Hey, I was I was willing to take that story to the grave, but since Ron wanted to tell stories, who blew the wide open lab when we was down one to make the NWAX, Ron? Fuck them NWAX. <laughs> oh, I got a slot. I gotta go. It's time to get the Lego land, man. I'll see y'all later. Bro, no, All right, yes, sir. Be good, man. Oh, see you sure. soon, Ops. Bro, no, hey, 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 you um hey J Rob, you tripping, man. I'm watching Ron our test right now. <laughs> bro, 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 I'm gonna watch it. I promise I'm gonna watch the tape. I'm gonna watch Please the tape. Do that. Mars, Please can do I ask you a question, Mars? Obviously, you've seen a viral video that came out of like of Jalen Green. But it, you know that's more your generation, so I just want to know: Do you be playing slam butt like that too? Or uh, like, is that all right, right, come on, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I want to know. I want to know. I, 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 I think it's an American thing. I, I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Them boys. I think it's a U.S. thing. Me personally, I think it's a U.S. thing. In the U.K., I don't know. I don't know that game. The boys, the boys is playing slam butt. I don't know what that is. Hey, Ron, I got to bounce, Ron. I will see you dudes tomorrow. Bright and early. Make it light. All right. All right. Hey, Ron, I got to run through these four chests. Hey, Ron, man, you got to get Bob back, man. Bob said you blew the layer for the game, man. Uh, man, hey, it happens. It happens. <laughs> I got to get him back. The horse is playing slam butt. Hey, you got to give me some film, get Bob back, man. I got it. Cold film on Bob. I could have. I could have. I could have got my bag on Bob right there. I, I let he him got get the that film. Jimmy Robbie got the film. Oh. I got. Oh man. man. But let's let's get into these super chats though. Mm. Eight Gates Lee said, "Y'all say Harden got Doc fired like it's a bad thing. It was time for Philly to get rid of him. And Bead wasn't speaking up for Harden. It had to suck. He he might leave, but Doc's time was over." Ah uh, man, he did get him fired. He said it's either him or he said I ain't playing for him no more. It's either him or me. They fired Doc, and and then then he quit on the team. Point blank, period. Angie Carr said, "BS, Rob Pluto, a sailor scout scriptures." Mm. Nice. Wait, read your scriptures, man. Julius Irvin said, "It's one planet. We got proof." <laughs> we got proof of, and that's uh, there. We go. <laughs> I agree. Oh, he's on some flat earther joint. 
if you actually do your research, know that the time the earth is flat doesn't just become a conspiracy. Like it's all the proof is that. So we fall. So we can fall off. You think? Like if we walk to the edge, we can fall off. No, because I'm dead a, asking. There, there's a force field that keeps you on the planet. You back, bro? What's, what what film you got on me? <laughs> so, oh, stop, so, what film you got on me? Show it. Hey, show it, Ron. Show the film. Show it, Ron. Hey, hey, Ron. Show the film. Hey, 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 cause check it out. If you want to, if you want to bring uh Shaq into it, Shaq can come and vouch for this. <laughs> okay, Bro, I'm not, not, not ganked one time in this I'm not ganked, okay. But I, I, I don't, I don't recall y'all say I touched earth. I, okay, I got ganked one time. Hey, 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 what hey, you got on me, bro? Hey, what you say? You touched earth with all ten fingers. You do a cool piss against Joe Johnson. Yes, if I if I did, I'm not I'm not mad at that. Okay, because I play I play 94 feet of defense against point guards, uh, shooter guards, small force, power force, centers. Okay, I probably got yanked once or twice. Big deal. Where the film at, Ron? Hey, y'all said y'all said y'all said I got film. I need to see the film, Ron. Where is it? Hey, hey, Ron, I'm crazy. He popped back up. <laughs> he popped back up for the film. I was just I was I was I on my way to the too. shower. I was on my way to the shower. I heard Ron <laughs> say I got crazy film on by. Where the film at? Where fact, I is the hey, yo, film? Shaq. Hey Shaq, where you at? Where the film at, Shaq? Where, where is the film? Man, where the dog. film at, Ron? I need to see hey, this. Man, Ten fingers on the hardwood. Pause. He, he lied. He lied. He ain't got no film. Hey, yo. He ain't got no film. <laughs> hey, you know yo. what? I, I'm Ten gonna, fingers I'm stick around on the hardwood is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna believe, believe everything you hear? He just mad because I talked that did story. Did y'all just hear I that? I wasn't tell nobody. Chad, did y'all hear that? Oh Jay Rob, don't cap, don't cap from Ron J Rob. He, if you, if you, hey, hold on. He's, hey, no, hey, I just bro, bro said he got ten fingers on a hardwood. I'm, I'm yeah, lost. How, by how, 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 how do they see those? Really well. How do they see those free? How do they see those? Uh, new, new, um, new, new hit single. Y'all seen that? I see. I see. They talking about in the comments. They talking about it. I seen on Twitter. Yeah. They released that. They, they put that out. It was in the. It was in the group chat, Tiki. No, I'm saying, but no, I'm talking about they released that. I'm talking about they released that like to the public. They talking about it in the conversation now. Oh, no, I don't know. That that, that last one, I wasn't too mad at the low. Let's let's collab on something, low. Low should stick to basketball reference. (laughs) 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 Yo, drop a basketball reference song. The song just titled "Basketball Reference." They need to. They need to sponsor him. I got to nice. do a song called El Matsky Boy. And, uh, <laughs> and let and Lo get the feature verse on it. The only problem I had with the video is the dude that was sitting on the sofa with his legs crossed holding the mic. <laughs> I wasn't feeling that. Everything else was cool. You know he a Houston fan. Okay. All right. This is the part. This is the part where I duck getting canceled. Yeah. This is this is where we need to where, where, where we're forcing the. Yeah. Show yeah. It is about. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Where the footage at, bro? What's up? Yo. For the footage, I need to yeah, see that film. Hey, see that film. Both of us. Footage or it didn't happen. You already admitted to it. I I I just said I was playing for North Seattle. That's all, all I right, said. Man. All right. And then I said real niggas miss game winners. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Hey, when that hey hey Bob, we had to go do that layup, bro. That ball felt hundred pounds in his hands when he had to go do that layup. It's too much pressure for him, bro. It's too he much pressure. Just dumped. That's what I said. She just went and dunked that mug. What happened the last time we both played one on one? All you, both of y'all. You, you beat me. You beat me. We haven't we haven't played one on one. Ron, 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 you gotta really understand, Ron. You're a better basketball player than me. I'll admit that. I'll, I'll give it to you. But I was still giving you pressure, mad pressure, rim pressure, penetrating mm, good yo, to the rim. Hey, hey, all right, it's time, it's time to wrap hey, things up. Rob, Okay. Yo, you you better than J Rob. Hey, J Rob, like, sound like Dwight Howard. Yeah, chill, bro. <laughs> sound like Dwight right now. Chill, bro. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Yep. <laughs> hey, same time. I'm feeling like good today. I got my overalls on. We're gonna get into some good things tomorrow. All right, Mars. Uh, what you about to do today? Yeah, what you about to do today, Mars? And stop. And and you better not go play slam butt with your friends. So what, right. what you about to do? <laughs> 
you guys are very hey, funny. Old boy gonna be old, old boy gonna be dry humping the hell out of Mars. Wow. Yo. Oh, <laughs> <a> job, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take it in, J-Rob. Hey, yo, J-Rob. Y'all gonna have to hey, miss each other. Right? Right. They're gonna, they gonna, they gonna, they gonna put that they gonna put that nigga Mars head on the nigga on the nigga who's getting dry humped. They gonna put that nigga head on his body. Are we still are we still live? <laughs> no, yo, we live. Are we live uh, still? Uh, Bro, my my, I'm gonna tell you the worst thing about that video, bro. I'm gonna tell you the worst thing. Yeah, we're still alive. Are we still alive? Are we still alive? Steve, end it. It's over. <laughs>